All right, so this is going to be the very first set of High Points, very first Smash 4 tournament. We're not going to have too many of these because Ultimate's going to come out soon and get hyped. That is okay, though. Uh, my name is BrawlerClaw67. I'm also playing this tournament, but later, so for now, I'm going to be doing commentary. Yep, and, and I'm Rybred. We are getting into match between Block Koopa, who is Mark, first player, versus Ryan Z7, who is Roy right now in the second player slot. We're starting on Halberd. Mark. Mark. Final Destination Halberd. Well, yeah, Omega Form Halberd. I guess we're just putting Final Destination as any form of Omegas. Yeah, we have a little bit of a, a different setup than the standard because this is our first uh, tournament setup for a lot of people, so we're making things a little simpler. If we continue this on, we'll probably go to just standard tournament settings. That was a good counter bait there. So, yeah. Uh, currently, I think we have, like, one oh. of the... Oh, no, that sucks to SD. Oof. I, right. that's something that I personally do a lot as well. I hate when I do that. Like, no one wants to see anyone SD. Not even their opponent wants to yeah, see anyone SD. Yeah, not. That's just not This is not also a, a very interesting match here. Marth versus Roy. Um, Marth likes to keep the opponent at a certain distance. Uh, Roy, Roy likes too. to keep people in. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how they both... Uh, wow, okay, good tip. Yeah, yeah, he was only at, like, 40, so that wasn't going to... Oh, he got the sour spot. Is he dead, though? Oh, man, yeah, he's dead. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and... so game one's gonna go to Block Koopa. All right. This is gonna be a very interesting match. What's up? Are right, you wanting to jump in? No. Curses. We got another spectator at least. That's okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so I I think they're they're discussing their counter picks. Yep. Let me see. So. Looks so like Block Koopa is staying marked. And Ryan's got to switch to Dark Pit. Got it. All right. Well, I was going to say that it was uh, Marth versus Roy is a very interesting matchup, but <laughs> now we got uh, Dark Pit thrown in, so that's fine. Now we got projectile uh, arrows versus uh, just spacing, pure spacing. <laughs> Dark Pit's arrows aren't that good, though, to be completely honest. Like, pits are, pits are amazing, but Dark Pit's, they hit harder, but at the same time, they can't be angled as well. But at yeah. the same time, Dark Pit's side B, in my opinion, is so much better than Pit's side it B. It is, definitely. Uh, I think that um, Dark Pit definitely does a lot better in uh, doubles uh, because you uh, the, the lack of being able to control the arrows actually means Dark Pit doesn't have to put as much thought into it when he's firing. Uh, he can just fire an arrow in the other direction real quick to help out his partner and then just continue fighting. Um, well, that's that's my case. That, that, that's my... Uh, I actually, I actually main pit in Dark Pit, so that's my opinion. Oh, nice. Uh, but right now we got Omega this time on the um, planes, the pilot wing stage. Pilot wings, yeah. Didn't want to make sure that you forgot about it. We got to we gotta know our stuff as commentators. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't even yeah. think that was quite a tipper. That but, wasn't uh, a tipper, but he was at very high percent, so that yeah. is... That's definitely still going to take a stop. So this is a best of three set because only the the higher amounts of the higher placings of the sets. Wow, that grab was insane. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be starting this off with uh, just... Uh, we're, so we're doing double elimination. Uh, we're starting off with just best of two. Or, uh, first best of two. Threes. First of two is what I meant. So yeah, first of two, three. best of three. Doesn't uh, really and then on uh, finals, uh, for losers finals, uh, winner finals, and grand finals, are going to be three or five. Yep. Uh, just so you guys know as well, uh, this... Uh, the oh okay so we got Marth with the two stock oh okay all right so that would be the first match that's gonna be Goes Block, to Block Koopa. Koopa. yep versus Ryan Z7 all right Ryan's going in the losers I'm doing it Only segmented record. just to yeah but you didn't need to do a segment because I could edit the video that's fine so up next we're gonna have Brawler Claws 67 versus Peanut Butter Guy 14 and just for the sake of simplicity we're gonna call it Brawler versus Peanut just yeah so yeah just so we don't get too or confused claws. we can say call it Claws. It doesn't really matter. We we shouldn't really get too hung up on this. We should actually yeah. focus on what's going on. Oh yeah, on. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so we got a a pit versus a link, and Link is just well, I guess he's notorious for being a quote unquote for glory character, just because <laughs> you kind of just sit on the side of the stage and spam arrows and bombs and yeah, boomerangs. boomerangs. But hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can see something. Pit is that definitely it. fast enough to keep up, and of course he has his arrows as himself as well as a reflector, so two reflectors. Yeah. Pit's arrows are much better than Dark Pit's. Oh no, okay. Yeah, no SDs here. No SDs this time. 
Not this time. Unfortunately, we had one last time, and I can yeah. definitely sympathize with that because uh, in my tournament that I did back home, uh, Scrub Squid Squad Smash, I SD'd once, and so I SD'd against the best player we had, actually, and I, I probably would have lost the set anyway because Lidl is really freaking good, but um, yeah. It kind of sucked. For people, I'm going to be uploading this um, on my own channel. Yeah, this is being obviously streamed to my Twitch and my YouTube, but we are going to be uploading this to Block Koopa, so you're going to be able to see that later. And I don't know all the people in his previous tournament or any of you got your guys, his followers, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I know uh, Brawler because he's my twin brother. Um, and of course, I know the other people who are in this tournament, but... It's still kind of relatively new just because, well, I'm, you're a junior, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a freshman here, so I've only been here for two months, but hey, I'm I'm the producer now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the TO, but I'm the producer, so that's that's definitely a good step. So yeah, well, as okay. we're talking, it is up a stop. Yeah, I actually was focusing too much on like what we were talking about that to completely not even notice that Link lost a stock. I <laughs> got too busy into the... Okay, that was a good dash attack. Yeah, that dash, dash attack is that dash attack from Link can bait out air dot air dot or uh, oh, side okay. steps pretty well. Yeah, because I because it, it winds up because it jumps. Yeah, so I you expect the dash attack to come in. And okay, that up smash. Step. Yeah, that's gonna take it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> nice. He wouldn't have lost anyway because he had two stocks. Yeah. But there are funny situations that people are just like, "Oh, I won!" and then I'm time gonna, to yeah, for time fun. to SD for fun, and then they lose the game. Yeah, that happens, but not this time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. All right. So well, this is switching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna switch. Oh, okay, um... Peanut's gonna switch controllers, so that's perfectly fine by us. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So as in the can, meantime, as you probably tell uh, Claus is playing with his 3DS as the controller, which it's I didn't, you don't see that too often. Oh, hey, hey get off my name! Oh, <laughs> get my name. <laughs> hey, get off my name! <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't like the custom controls on it because I do have <laughs> controls on my name. Yeah, he's he's got the weird setup. Me, I don't have the alternate controls. I like have tap to jump on. And... This Everything. is gonna be like a mini rant All for the me. Works. I feel like people just use names just to screw around, but the original purpose of names was that you could put your you own could, custom yeah. controls on it, and people are like, haha, I'm just gonna screw around with names just for fun, and I'm like, that's not what the point of names was. I mean, I just like to have my name because it's like just labeling me. Yeah. I don't have a bunch of crazy names that do on the other, on the other part. Yeah, we have a friendly setup. Yeah, we have, so, a, we have a setup that people are just playing friendly. Yeah, so... Wii U, and that Wii U has a bunch of, like, goofy, gimmicky names. I guess we should go over the dilemma right now of why we don't have all the DLC characters and stages. I don't think we even have all the regular stages unlocked. No, we don't. But that's because um, we have a setup over on a bigger screen. However, it's using multiple TVs. I think it's, like, 16 TVs at the yeah. same time to merge into one Super TV. Yeah. And so we tried to hook up my capture card to it but that ended up distorting the, the the color yeah the color on the tv it was perfectly fine on the computer so you would be able to if we did start the street oh my oh. god wow but yeah if we did start the stream you wouldn't see anything different it would look perfectly fine but on the tv that they would play on it would be messed up so unfortunately we had to have someone bring in their wii u and so they don't have all the all the stages unlocked thank god they have all the regular characters that aren't yeah, dlc yeah. otherwise we probably wouldn't have even done this because like yeah. that's having not all the stages is fine to an extent as long as you have all the legal ones but if you don't have all the characters that's just like an automatic no and yes if we wanted to we could mod the wii u to get all the stages but we don't want to screw with other people's stuff yeah. like this is someone's wii u this isn't like if it was mine i have my wii u modded back at home back in new jersey but like Obviously, I'm here, High Point All University, right. North Carolina, to, uh, and yeah, that's going to be it. Peanut Butter Guy goes on to Losers, he's going to have another shot, yep. and uh, yeah. Okay, and so now we got Ghost versus Block Koopa, this is Winner's Quarters. We actually do have one Winner's Top 8 match left. However, if they don't get here, we're going to have to DQ them because we have everyone here that we need except for one person. So if that one person doesn't get here, unfortunately, we're going to have to DQ them. It's just going to have to be an unfortunate circumstance, I guess. Yeah, but for now, we're going to go ahead and get this match underway. Yep. Now. 
So this is the first winner's quarters match. It's going to be Ghost versus Block Coop. I believe I'm up next, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so you're going to have so to... now we got, again, Marth with Block Koopa, and Ghost is playing Rock and the Greninja. He's a pretty decent Greninja, actually. Uh, I've had the pleasure of going against him. Actually, the thing is, uh, Block is actually my, um, my my twin brother, and then uh, Ghost is our sweet, one of our sweet mates. So we, we get to play a lot, so that's fun. Um, so we'll, we, we shall see how this is going. So far, it's looking relatively even. Yep. So, uh, I've actually seen this matchup in the grand finals of the last tournament that I did because oh, yes, it was, a, yeah, Ninja Eleven versus uh, Lidl. So they, it was both Marth versus Gren, and Lidl got some insane tippers. He got some kills at like 50% with tips on the ledge. It was really entertaining to watch. Lidl's amazing. If he were a bit older, I would love to see him to go to actual tournaments. That would be great. Nice. But yeah, so maybe he can do something when Ultimate comes out. Shout out to Lidl. Ooh, I don't that's know. Oh, cool. yeah, that counter's gonna kill. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Dang. I can't tell. Was that? Oh no, that was an idle animation. That wasn't a taunt. I was gonna say like, are, are we getting a little confident here? But no, that was an idle animation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to go for that back air tipper, but uh, Mark's a little too much rage for that. Yep. Dancing Blade. Good, that's though. gonna. Oh, okay. He's stuffing out recoveries right here. Okay. Ooh, up smash. Man. Wow. Yeah. I. I honestly thought he was going to go for the F-Smash, but F-Smash is definitely a good option too. I think he might have made the right call there. I mean, I'm not really a Marth enthusiast myself. I, I play like four different characters, but none of them are Marth. <laughs> I play as like every character to some extent, so I have uh, some some March, uh, Marth abilities, but uh, he's definitely not my main by any stretch of imagination. <laughs> but yeah, so... Greninja right now, I guess, is trying to uh, He's trying now, to... Like, projectiles, get some damage going, try to yeah. be a little, more, a little bit safer. Oh, down throw fair? Oh, no, okay. Oh. He was trying to go for an air dodge read, which I can definitely... Oh, Ooh, okay, that was, side B. That was, that was nice. That was side nice. B on the platform, yeah. Because that's definitely going to kill, because he was close to the blast zone. Okay. Yeah, Gren is definitely trying to catch these air dodges with up smash. I, I can definitely respect... Oh, my Ooh. God, the tips! That is brutal. Oh, man. That was that was definitely I think the closest oh. match so far though. That was that was close. Let's let's see how uh, Greninja tries to uh, how Ghost back. how how Ghost is gonna try to, to adapt to this. So at this point, I think uh, Block gets to choose one 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 ban is what we're doing, and then yeah, because this is best of three. Loser, um, but yeah, this is still best of three. So Block is gonna pick up a, a stage to ban, and then Ghost is gonna pick from the rest. Uh, oh, they're staying. Okay, both of them are staying. Both of them are staying the same characters? Yeah. Just, you get to ban one stage, one stage. and then he gets to uh, pick from the rest. Best of three, one stage is banned, and then one stage is chosen from the rest. In best of five, there are no stage bans, so the loser just chooses from any stage that they want. That's obviously legal, because we're yeah. not doing any any stupid stuff like Temple or whatever. <laughs> yeah, no Fight Club. No Fight Club. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do actually have a few more stages uh, where we're uh, than normal. Uh, just because eh, it's a little more fun. This is a little bit more of a casual tournament, so we're allowing some stages like uh, Halberd and Delfino. Um, well, I mean, they were legal at one point, but they yeah, were banned. Exactly. And, like, they, they were legal at some point, so we're going to go ahead and allow them for now. Um, once we continue this, once we end up getting more people, we're going to go to the like the full-on rule set, which is like, what I specialize in, because I, I'm i trying to get good so I can enter tournaments for Ultimate. That would be really good. Yeah, I'm actually going to be abroad uh, when Ultimate comes out. Or, well, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm studying abroad in uh, Japan, so... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm going to bring my, bring my Switch and just gonna be playing <laughs> yeah. some, some with my girlfriend, actually, so I'm excited about that. I mean, there are going to um, be people that are really good in Japan. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. W what character so far has this been announced are you most excited for? Uh, I really like Mac, to be honest. Oh, I, yeah? I love the way that he was buffed, that his side B can be used into an up B, or maybe you can side B into double jump up B. I don't know if... Because I know Ike has a property that you can side B and then immediately up B, but you can't side B and then double jump. So yeah. you have to up B, otherwise you just go into free fall. Yeah. So hopefully that's not the case like it's with Ike, because then Ooh. it wouldn't be too significant of a buff. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's another counter. Um, He was at like 60%, right? Yeah, Marthas also has like most, <laughs> most of his rage going on right now. Yeah, so. he, he is 112%. Max rage is 150, right? I think, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Uh, unfortunately, I re I retired from melee because the school internet doesn't let me play netplay anymore. But I was oh, a melee yeah. player up until then. Yeah, I've always just played whatever the newest game is. Um, just that, yeah, we we played back uh, when N64 
was like the console. And the console. Yeah, and then oh, wow, that side melee beach. comes out. We're playing with our older stepbrother, and he's kicking our butt. We're doing two v one against him. <laughs> uh, he's chic, and I'm just like spamming the C stick because I don't know how what else to do. And then 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 brawl comes out with the, with online, and then this game. Yeah, so. but brawl <laughs> didn't have online. Let's be honest, <laughs> brawl did not have online. Uh, oh, I actually that looked good, away that was good for up a air second. Kill. That oh, was that good was up air. Air? It was okay. up air kill, yeah. It was up air. I looked away for a second. I didn't know what it was. I, <laughs> I just saw him off the top, so I was like, it was probably up air because cause up smash can sometimes kill off the side with Bren. Yeah, depending on how the opponent DIs it. Yeah. Or attempts to DI it, I suppose. It's still a kill. Um, but yeah, we used to play... Back when Brawl was like... Brawl still had all the items, so like we would play casual online with like a bunch of people and do shenanigans and stuff. And then, then, then Smash 4 comes out and... Uh, getting to college, starting to get more competitive and stuff. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, I guess, because this is the first time we're doing this, so hopefully we can carry this on into... No! 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 Oh, unfortunate. Man. No. Well, I guess Block takes yeah. it 2-0. That was, that was a good game. It's okay. Ghost, Ghost got a chance in, in, in losers, though. That sucks. All right. Well, we'll get the next match set up. See you guys. All right, oh, we right. are back. So uh, Ryan right Block now is Koopa playing. And, now it's Block Koopa and Claws that are um, commentating, commentating right now. So yeah, uh, Ryan, because Ryan's playing. Right so we got Ryan. Uh, yeah, they're just doing button check right now. So um, even though they're yeah, so we got that's yeah, fine. Uh, so we got Ryan. Uh, so Rye Bread versus uh, we just blank. Uh, is we're, how we're gonna pronounce his yeah, name? Yeah, we're just pronouncing it so. blank. He decided he wanted to be crazy with his uh, username. It's yeah, like, which is fine. Do a traditional username. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Blank has never so. done tournament before, so but uh, Right Red has, so he's kind of just we're getting explaining the controls and everything. Um. Unfortunately, uh, Jesse is not gonna be here, so um. All right, I think we're gonna get stuff started. Unfortunately, Jesse ended up. Woo. No. <laughs> no. Um, unfortunately, Jesse is not gonna be here, so he's. Yeah. Gonna be yeah. Um, unfortunately. Way, so. You're not blank. You're not allowed to talk during the match, by the way. You can whisper, I guess, but. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, are is this the character setup we're going with? No, I think he said he was. Oh, switch. I think uh, blank is switching right now. Blank still has ghost's uh, tag right now, yeah. but that's fine. All right, there so we're just, he's, just doing, he's just doing lines. He's just got a bunch of underscores. <laughs> so which character is he well, going to yeah. play here? We got Reaper with, uh, or Reaper is uh, Rye Bread, is uh, Ghost, or not Ghost, Sheik. And uh, we're going to get Blank going with Ryu. All right. Ooh, okay. It's going to be a very interesting match. And uh, they, they went ahead and uh, got uh, Battlefield as their match. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> So we're starting off, of course, a little bit, a little bit of needle charge. Ooh, okay, oh, we got the redhead tokens. All right, that that's always that's always a good sign, is we know how to do the redhead tokens. I believe that's pronounced the shotgun nets. I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, good. The focus attack. Focus All right. Attack. Ooh. Can get, oh, 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 oh. Little, little bit of an early uppy, but it's like, oh, okay. that, that one, All that right. one was All a well placed right. early uppy though. Uh, the collarbone breaker. Uh, Sheik is trying to figure out how to. Oh, oh okay. Ooh, that was that was a pretty decent hit right there. Okay. Um, Sheik. Oof. That side B. Ryu is is really working good. back up the numbers on the percentage here. Uh, yeah, but Sheik. Catching up. Sheik, of course, not known for kill confirms, but known to do combos and so racking up the damage pretty fast. Where Ryu, you know, he does combos because you know he's from Street Fighter. Of course, he knows how to do something. Yeah, but he's definitely he he is definitely like a heavy hitter. He's definitely more heavy hits um, than combos in this game. So um, we shall see. So he can he can definitely rack up the damage in fewer hits. Oh, going for that that uh, dolphin kick, but uh, ooh, able to react out of that. Uh, yeah, able to react out of that. Did I call it a dolphin kick? Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. You're mixing it with um, dolphin slash. With, uh, yeah, with Mark <laughs> My bad. Um, okay, okay. Oh, Tatsu into the top platform. Fishing for that. Mm, eating kill. that hit. Eating that hit. Sorry for the puns. Oh, Ooh, the up smash. That okay. was heavy. 
Ryu's got a lot of rage built up. Oh launch. wow, oh. the quick, the up smash the quick and response. return. So we're back to zero zero on on last whenever stock I'm situation playing, here. Whenever, was... whenever I'm playing as Ryu in this game, I like to refer to all his moves um, by their uh, Marvel vs. Capcom inputs because I also because the two of us also play Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, so we got that backward Z with the side smash. Yeah. Uh, the so this is this is, is back to up um, smash is his launcher. Yeah, both yeah. So both players right ha right here are. Back to a uh, relatively good position here. Um, they're both doing pretty well, I would definitely say. I think, I, th I think what we're looking at here right now, is, it seems to definitely match between okay. the, the cool, calm, collected, um, you know, chic play versus the, the crazy Ryu play. And we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see whether or not the crazy is out, uh, able to, to beat the uh, up, up, up air there on the top platform. Oh, the down air is good. I was actually leaning towards uh, Ryu being more calm and collected one. I mean, he's sitting... Sheik is running around a lot. Well, Sheik is definitely running around, but she seems to be a lot more... Um, that is how you play Sheik. Yeah, she seems to be a lot more, like... Oh, kept his second jump, nice. Calculated with, like, specifically, like, okay. choice decisions and stuff. Whereas Ryu's just kind of pressing buttons, but, I mean, it's it's definitely a thing that's Ryu happening, so... Blank <laughs> how to use both versions of the side tilt. Yep, that's definitely good. Knowing how to... Oh, oh the bouncing fish. fish. Oh man, That's that was a, a close one. match. Good game. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and set up here with uh, Rye Bread up one point here. Up one point. That was a close match, though. Come on. That could have gone either way. That was. There we go. All right. And so oh, he, we got to switch to Zero Suit Samus. All right. Zero suit. Um. And then Blank can choose whether or not he wants to switch oh, character. Ooh, Blank is like gonna might. looks like he might might switch to another character. So we got we got a double uh, I mean, both character both players switching characters is gonna be he's interesting. Definitely doing very solid All right. for you. Okay, but, uh, so we got Zero Samus versus Lucario now. To Lucario. This is gonna be a very interesting match. So I think at this point now, um, Ryan's gonna switch. Uh, he's gonna choose a, a stage that he doesn't want to play on, and um, Blank is gonna choose then from that point. So. Yeah, and we're then, gonna see what it what we're and going then with. Blank gets to uh, pick whatever stage, obviously out of the tournament legal list, which we have on a whiteboard over there. But you know, for the most part, if any of you know how tournaments work, you guys know what kind of tournaments are legal. We're going to Battlefield right back. All right, just back to Battlefield. the The list is up there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. All right, we're going. All right. So. This so, is going to be uh, definitely a, a, a very different match than, than the previous match. So instead of Lucario going for the heavy hits, he's going to be going for uh, going ahead and being okay with taking a bunch of hits. And Ryu is able to take advantage of that rage, but Lucario, he he's really another, he's a whole another, well, he's an whole other story. So uh, this is definitely going to be a very uh, very interesting match. Okay, the down throw up smash. Zeus of Samus, of course, has some more. Oh, range. that was a good punish with the up smash Zeus there on the platform. Zeus of course has some more range with some of their. Ooh, with good, good catch of the moves. jump with the up air. The neutral air and uh, side B and stuff definitely have more range than Sheik. Um, but Zeus of Samus overall has a very. Ooh, that similar... was a good break out of the grab with the jab there. Zeus I was not expecting that. Oh, we got the paralyzer. Very similar game plan to. Um, mm, not gonna kill quite yet. Sheik. That was pretty close. It's not going to kill pre, quite yet. Free patch that definitely would have killed, but you know, of course, the game's been patched. You know, oh, yeah. Plenty of oh, the paralyzer. Oh, boy. What's going to happen here? So, Lucario. That up here is not quite enough. Okay. Uh oh, okay. Okay. The counter worked, but. Up smash? Didn't... Okay. Still surviving, still surviving. Lucario's looking at a whole air. lot of aura right now, so. This is definitely not over yet. Lucario's looking at a lot of aura. Yeah. Still up. Lucario still up. is pretty much at max rage and max aura. 64% doesn't seem like a lot on Zeus or Samus, but... Oh. oh, that's that's gonna that's gonna seal out that aura. So unfortunately, Lucario's got a, a mountain to stock, climb at so this point. He does build aura faster, but he still has to start. Ooh, that was a that was very heavy, a fully charge charged. On that. that was a fully charged side smash, of I believe. Got some aura spheres. Some aura spheres. That, yep. Oh, but lost the charge. Oh no, he no, he definitely he kept it. I thought he got hit out of it. I think I thought he did for a sec too, but uh, we're good. Get to that platform. All right, get to that ledge safely. Um, you know, the up air combos, up air combos, up oh, forward air. Ooh, Ooh looking like for that down, for that looking for that down B, but just a little bit too far away. All right. Yeah. Mario just collecting himself a little. Yeah. Get the paralyzed shots I'm again. I'm referring to them as the characters more than. Oh. oh wow, that was good DI. That was that was very we good saw DI. The red sparks, but. Oh. 
That one's gonna seal it though. All right, game. and we got uh, Ghost, or not Ghost, I kill the same Ghost. Blank is going into Losers, yeah, but that I'm, is okay. I'm referring to them by their damage. characters' names more than their <laughs> usernames, because I know these people by their actual names. So using usernames, usernames and stuff. We're going to go into the next match. Yeah. We'll do uh, Jake and Matt. Okay. All right, so real quick, guys, just um, just so you guys on the uh, watching on the streams and stuff know, uh, this tournament also, by the way, uh, we are doing uh, all the money that's been... Um, accrued for entry fees uh, is being split. 60% uh, goes towards um, the players who are in top three. So 30, 20, 10% for first, second, and third. Uh, and then the 40% is going towards a charity of all of our decisions making, uh, you know, all the players and stuff. We're going to decide on charity too. Just, just so you guys know, this is a charity tournament as well. Uh, if you guys in the in the chat have any ideas for any tournaments you guys want, or any uh, charities you guys want to, to throw in the chat, feel free. Uh, and I think we're about to get started. All right. So I think we're going to, did you guys do Smashville or Town City? No, either way. Uh, I think you, I think you guys are going Town City yet. All right, okay, let's get this started. All righty. Yeah, sorry, I just freaked myself out a little bit. I wanted to make sure that this was quarters. Yeah, this is this is the last match quarters here. Then we're going to semis. Because I know during Scrub Squid Squad Smash, I definitely messed that up once or twice. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'm trying not to make that mistake again, especially since this is a school event and not just, like, the thing that eight friends were doing just <laughs> for fun. Yeah. Especially since money is also on the line here. <laughs> That's true. Uh, not too much, but, I mean, any, any amount helps, especially we're, since we're all, like, uh, Broke college students. <laughs> you know, any amount helps. Uh, so we got Lincoln versus Peach. So uh, right now Matt Gar is rocking the Knight user tag. Uh, and um, user tag, is that still a term? That's a term, right? <laughs> user Either way. Tag. And then uh, <laughs> I Jake, feel like it's just tag. It's just tag or gamer tag or username. No, gamer tag is cringe. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. I feel like the word in itself, gamer, just like deprecates you. Just like, <laughs> oh, I'm a gamer. No. <laughs> nah, it's not a big deal. Uh, and then uh, Jake is just doing player two because no custom controls are necessary. Uh, we rock like that. And we got, so far, Link is, is looking at a uh, pretty high percent. Um, okay. Ooh, that's going to that's gonna kill. I don't think that was Tipper. Ooh, the I taunts. Think... The taunts. Oh, two taunts? Ooh. Was that two? That was Did two. Did I count that? That was two. We got the la la la, and then we got the uh, uh -huh. just the spin. Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, that wasn't wasn't quite a sweet spot. So it was only fifteen. I Spike mean, he was charge. a zero percent too. So like, it yeah. it doesn't really matter what spot you get of it. You just kind of oh what? no. Oh, that's rough. Oof. That sucks. All right. Well. No one wants to see that. Unfortunate. Well, Matt is going up one zero, and you guys are doing another match. Oh yeah. Yeah. Best of three. Yep. Yeah, so uh, Matt uh, can change his character now if he wants, uh, or he can say Peach, and then once he's decided on switching a character or not, then it looks like he's switching to Shulk, yep. and okay. now Jake is able to switch his character if he wants, if he thinks there's a character that he thinks can beat Shulk uh, in particular, as opposed to Peach, uh, or if he can stay, it doesn't matter. And Same. at this point then, okay. uh, Jake is now able to pick a stage. But no, it's that's or, two out of three. So winner bans one stage, and then loser chooses from the right. Game. So Matt can choose again a stage that he doesn't want to play on, and then Jake is able to pick uh, from the remaining stages. We also technically have uh, an uns unspoken rule, I suppose. I think it's written over there. If both players want to play on, like, say, gamer for some reason, no, uh, they both can. No, play. <laughs> agree. I didn't hear about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're doing like turning legal. That is turning legal. If both people gentlemen to a stage, they can both play on no, the stage. No, if both Dude, people watched, gentlemen to like. I watched a tournament in which they gentlemen. There was a Project M tournament, but the grand finals. They gentlemen. Uh, hopefully, to play, you don't get me banned. Because... They gentlemen to melee. It was a Project M tournament. They gentlemen okay, to play please don't melee say that again. on Poke no. Floats. You do know that saying that can get you in trouble on Twitch, right? That game's banned on Twitch. What? It's banned on Twitch. That hack of Brawl that you just said. Oh, seriously? Yeah, it's banned on Twitch. Oh, I had no idea. This is the first time hearing of this. <laughs> That's I did not know that. Okay, well, please don't uh, get us in trouble. I had no idea. And we're not playing that game anyway. We're playing Smash. Six, uh, Smash on... Not Smash 64. 4. Smash 4. Not 64. 
and they are ready to get underway. <laughs> We're going to Lilat. I'm sorry. Don't get me banned, bro. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying. I had no idea. <laughs> Another funny rule that my friend Kira reminded me, or didn't remind me of, he taught me this, that apparently if you show your feet on Twitch, you get banned too. What? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> Because apparently there were people doing some IRL streams and they went into the house and obviously you take your shoes off in the house because like you don't wear your shoes in the house. And okay. so I think they were doing like a, a face cam where they were like pointing at themselves. They must have panned the camera down on accident and it showed their feet and they got banned for it. So What's yeah. the reasoning behind this though? I, yeah, I don't know why you get banned for showing your feet, but... Alright, but now we got we got the buster going so he's wanting to get some damage going. Ooh, that jumped into that up smash. Ooh, okay. So the thing about Buster, how much do you know about Shulk? Uh, a decent amount. Okay, so the thing about Buster, uh, Shulk does more damage, but he also takes more damage. Yeah. So, uh, Link's hits on him while he has Buster is also doing some extra damage, so... Did you hear about that meme that supposedly shield counter does Oof. more damage? I did. It, that's, that's, I did hear about that. That's fake, but like... Yeah, I heard, I heard about that. Shoutouts to False, who tricked like the entire Smash community for thinking that Shield Counter did it more than Smash Counter, which Ooh, it doesn't. Out of that. Oh. oh, that counter. But yeah, I'm definitely hyped for, for Ultimate. We're gonna have oh, a so bunch excited. of new characters, a bunch of new memes. Oh, <laughs> it's, man, it's gonna... gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. I'm so excited. I'm actually really excited to give... Um, uh, I never played a Castlevania game before, but I'm excited to give Simon and Richter a shot. They look, they, their gameplay looks really fun. It, it's kind of like similar to um, Ghost Rider back in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 uh, with the big chain. That, that's going to be fun. I haven't played any other fighting games besides uh, Smash and Street Fighter. I only played Street Fighter for like a month, and now I'm absolutely trash at it because I haven't played it in years. But yeah? I played a little bit of Street Fighter. I made Cammy, and then I picked up Melee, and I was like, I like Melee. Because, like, I grew up as a Nintendo scrub. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Like, well, uh, same here. We had, like, uh, there was a total... Oh, Ooh, is that, that it? Forward yeah, smash that's going to be it. it. That's Smash Monado forward smash. Okay. All right. Yep, that is going so, to be it. Yep, yeah, Jake's in losers now, and Matt's going to move on. Okay, we're going to get to the next match. We'll All see right. you guys later. Okay, right. so, yeah, hmm. we got Captain N. Bloom versus Brawler Claws. This is going to be the last game of Winner's Quarters, so after that I'm going to have to hopefully not screw up and actually update it to say Winner's Semis. Yeah, the two, pe the two people who are commentating right now are... Oh, champion. Then. Champion. No, it says it on the layout. I don't know why I screwed that up. It um, says champion on the layout. I just said captain for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, the two people who are commenting right now, Hybrid and Block Koopa. Yep. We're going to be fighting each other in the next round. So yeah, that's... <laughs> both of us are nervous against each other because we've played together a couple of times and <laughs> it's a little bit back and forth. <laughs> like that it's one time you killed me at like 60 with Gren's up smash and I was yeah. like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even the sweet spot, it was like the sour spot that launched you sideways. I, I'm guessing, well, because you, what you do is you DI vertical moves, you DI it to the left or yeah, the, yeah, to the yeah. right. You thought it was going to And so up. I was like, okay, well, it's going to launch me up because it's an up smash, so yeah. let me just DI to the left. Yeah. And then I DI'd into the blast zone and yeah. got myself killed at 60, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Well, we got, uh... But yeah, so... Even percent so far, uh, obviously, it's really in the lead. That was a risky play right there. Yeah, for a commentary on my part, I guess I just kind of get too into just like talking about either just like stories of stuff that's happened in the past during other tournaments, or just I talk about something that's happening in the game and then I get on a tangent and completely forget about what's going on in the game. And then I'm like, yeah. oh hey, this guy lost a stock. Speaking Ooh. of, oh uh, never mind. Good okay. DI, good DI. Yeah, that was some good DI. I was gonna try to oh, smoothly yeah. transition that. Okay, but that's gonna be a stock loss though. Yeah. But yeah. So we got one stock down from... And we actually have people in the chat. Yeah, no, we've had people in the chat before. I think you were just in a match before and you didn't get to see it. <laughs> Thank you, random Fe player. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that was me playing as Mark. <laughs> yeah, no, Fe player comes to every single one of my streams. He's <laughs> awesome. I actually met him on a vacation. We played some friendlies in Smash. So he, he knows... Uh, well, we played when it was pre-patch because they didn't actually have the console connected to the internet, so I was playing pre-patch Sheik, and oh. so he thought I was, like, really, really good, and I was like, yeah, uh, Faye player, um, that was pre-patch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not to say that, like, I don't have some decent skill with the character, but, like, that was better than it should have been to say. To say that, yeah. I'm also planning on uploading this onto my channel as well, so yeah. it's going to be streamed, of course, this where, is... where you're watching it. Uh, it's also going to be uploaded onto um, Bright Red's YouTube channel, and then it's going to be uploaded onto mine. 
So my my username on YouTube is the same as my one on here. Yeah, um, I I have some other Smash Bros. videos, just like compilation, uh, funny moments that happen in Smash Bros. Oh, that the was waft. such a good one. The waft. Okay. Dropping his shield because he's like, oh, he's gonna like, grab or something. Oh, no. okay. Wow, that's gonna that's gonna take game one. The JV2 stock, but that was a really risky one. Okay. I hear Claws saying that he is planning on switching characters. There's no problem with that. That's what I did. Yeah. I mean, I won game one, but I won it in a really, like, shaky fashion. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna switch to Sierra Suit. Yeah. Oh, we switched to Roll, I... and then, uh... Oh my god, oh, Mac! switched to Little Mac. No, okay, so I low-key love Mac, but... You have to I, be... Yeah, he's... Little Mac is such a volatile character. He either dies way too fast, or he kills super early. He's not too viable, in my opinion, in this game, but I definitely feel like I'm gonna pick him up as maybe a secondary in Ultimate, just because his recovery's getting buffed. Yeah. Even though I feel like a, uh, a couple of his moves are getting nerfed in kill power, which kind of makes sense if you're gonna buff his recovery. Then, mm -hmm. like, but I think he's still gonna be a little bit more well-rounded. In other words, like... Well, not in other words. Also... Uh, he might have a combo throw now. Ooh. Yeah, his down throw okay. might actually be a combo throw into like up smash or up B. Okay. But they did nerf his down tilt, which kind of that makes me sad because that was probably his best move in Smash Four. Yeah. I like down his I like his side tilt a lot. Down tilt does tilt everything. Great. Okay. Wow. Thirty one percent counter off the bat. Okay. Oh okay. my God! Counters off the bat from both players. It hasn't oh. even been ten seconds. Yeah, brawler. Going for that spike. The Roy spike is, of course, really hard to hit. Little Mac usually recovers low, so to recover high was good. It was a good mix good up. Good mix up, yeah. I feel like Roy's downer is actually one of the hardest moves in the entire game to hit, okay, to be honest. Okay. okay, that was good DI on the back throw. Oh, he lost the KO punch. I'm surprised he didn't get the win box. Yeah, that well, was... Well, no, he was in the air, wasn't he? Uh... I, I don't... No, no, no. Brawler was. was in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think if both players on the ground, then the win box will activate, so that's probably why it didn't. Oh, that was a... Oh. Why would you run into that? That was. <laughs> so I think he was, he was hoping he'd beat it out with his dash attack. Maybe. His little Mac dash attack is really fast. Oh. Okay, how to bait out a counter. I think he's living though. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's good. Of course, these two characters, neither of them. I think he should have gone for up tilt instead of jab. Ooh. Oh, he wanted the. Oh, oh my what gosh. was that? The clink! Oh. Okay, counter save. Or no, I don't. I don't think it would have saved his life there. I think he would have still lived with the eye. Okay, back air. That's, is he done? Yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah. He was close to catching that ledge. That was actually really that was entertaining. A really entertaining. Match. Yeah. GG to both players. Were always into each other because neither of them have projectiles. <laughs> a little bit of a false start, but we're fine. No one's done any percent to each other, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. So, 0-0, zero, zero, we got Blank versus Peanut Butter Guy. We're just going to call him Peanut, and... Wait, are they doing a hand warmer? Are you guys doing a warm-up? Oh. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a fake-out. I don't know. <laughs> that kind of a... Kind of a cheap strategy, if I do say so I mean, myself, both of but... them were both... Both of them were just sitting there. So <laughs> I, think it, I think it's fair. Okay, we got we got bees who definitely loves pressing the up smash button. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that up smash, if you hit it with Ike, it is super powerful. Oh wait, uh, oh yeah. Okay, blank is bees. I don't know. He might have forgotten oh, to change his yeah, tag. Oh yeah, he forgot to change his tag. That's fine. I mean, I don't think bees has any custom controls, and I don't think, I don't uh, think so. blank uses custom controls in the first place. Yeah, I don't think so. I think there's only like three of us, including me, that actually <laughs> uses custom controls. Yeah. I, I, I do the all the oh, stuff. Oh, no! Oh, cool. No. No one wants to see that. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Like you said earlier, even the person who. Uh, even your opponent doesn't want to see it. you. Yeah. Even the person who benefited from the SD. Especially if it ends the game. Like, it's yeah. one thing if you SD on your first stock, that sucks. But if you win the game because of an SD, that's just like. You know, that, yeah. You want to win in a good way, not because Ooh, good, of like. Good up tilt. Or okay. Back air. We got up tilt back air. I, I don't think that's true. I think it was just a good DI yeah, follow. Yeah, no, I think it was a good follow. Yeah, just... Oh, okay. Spin dash to it. Oh, no, oh, no, no okay. not again, not again. He's got it. Okay, yeah. he's, he's good. We got magnet hands. Oh, I thought that side smash was going to hit him. We got magnet hands, so... We do have we're... magnet hands. You know who has the best magnet hands? Ganon. Yeah. Ganondorf's magnet Definitely hands. Ganon. Oh, my God. That's not going to kill... Oh, oh, no, not again. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going for another one. He's, he's Dude, definitely... He's just swinging. He really is. Ike he's has just... That... 20 pound sword, 
holding it over his shoulder with one hand. No, it's it's two tons. That's the Ragnell is two tons. That's even more ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I was just making up the twenty. Pounds. No, no, Ragnell is actually two tons. I know, I know what the sword is called. I just made up the weight. I was just make, I was just saying that. Like he just holding it over his head, over his shoulder with one hand, <laughs> like a boss. I mean, oh, okay, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be game one. Good game. What? Well, oh, that was a taunt. You can't no, hide no, that no, from no, me. That was, no, that was an idol animation. Wait, was that an idol animation? It was. I don't know. That was an idol animation. Yeah. Okay, it was an idol animation. I'm mistaken. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I did that again. Like yeah, it's when okay. I, was it you that oh, was, yeah, playing I was playing Marth? Mar yeah, yeah, and I he did I, the hair fix thing, which I yeah. do a lot in real life as well. Because <laughs> my bangs are a little bit long, so I actually do that in real life a lot. <laughs> No, but I actually asked myself, was that a taunt or an idol animation? Yeah, I heard, and I, I like, you cycled I through that. it in my head. I was like, wait, so he has three taunts, has three and taunts. I tried to like visualize them in my head, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's an idol animation. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, I actually thought it was a taunt. Yeah. Probably just because it was behind the game sign. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, yeah, ready? Yeah, you guys... Yeah, we're good. You guys are ready to go. Again, sitting there. Uh, oh each. my god, taunt off the start. They're eyeing each other warily, if any of you guys know Pokemon Stadium. I have not played Stadium actually. Okay, well, there's the uh, announcer. It's just like voiceover. It's automatic announcer. I've seen a bit of Revolution. Is that what it's um, called on it's, the Wii? Yes, Battle Revolution. It's Is that? Very it's similar. yeah. Okay. It, um, I thought it was just like kind of like a. Just a slightly better graphics version of Stadium, even though it um, still is in standard definition. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was on the Wii, and I, I thought, you know, it's cartoony and on purpose. So I'm okay with it not being, like, super Max realistic. Yeah. That it can be. But Pokemon never really, in general, is kind of supposed to be that realistic. Okay, yeah. we got, we got, I just pressing that up smash yeah, button. Yeah, he's, he's swinging. We all know the number one rule of For Glory Links is always press the down A button when you're in the air and you never get punished, right? <laughs> yeah, because that move is ridiculously safe. Yeah, no, but this is not For Glory. <laughs> oh, that's going to kill. Okay, so we got Peanut up a stock. Yeah. Ike still doing that up B. Ike still doing up B and smash oh, attacks. Yep. Smash attacks. Smash attacks. I, I used to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did Everyone main. used to be that guy. I actually mained Ike throughout the entirety of Brawl and for like a year in Smash nice. 4. And then I was doing a live reaction with my friend when uh, Cloud was released. And I was like, I want to main Cloud based on the trailer. And then mm -hmm. Cloud came out and then he was completely broken. And everyone's like, wah, wah, Cloud. And I was like, well, I'm going to get a crap ton of hate if I continue to play Cloud. So yeah. I guess I'll just drop Cloud. So I dropped Ike and Cloud. And then I just ended up playing like four characters in the process because I didn't really know who I wanted to play. Yeah, Ike is a pretty different play style from Peek and Zuzu Sans. Yeah. Okay. I guess I just grew as a player. That was a really close match. Uh, Link, of course, took the first stock, but Ike took the next two. Good so, game. yep, that's going to be it versus Blank and Peanut Butter Guy. Okay, hand warmers are over, so that means we're going to get into the second... Is this the last loser's top eight qualifier? I think so. I believe so, yeah. Okay. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, because one of our players got disqualified for unfortunately not being here. Yeah. But, yeah, so this is going to be Jack versus Ryan T7, and let's just see how this goes. All right, so we got Link versus Shulk. So, the two blonde swordsmen. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. If you saw that graphical glitch on here. No, I didn't. But we didn't, we're not in a game yet, so hopefully it won't happen. If if it does happen it again, then uh, it just happened. It was just like a little stretch. Mm, okay. But yeah, if that happens again, we can a always Bowser fix imposter. it. A Bowser imposter, wow. <laughs> what? The, the hint thing? It said a Bowser imposter, exclamation point, question mark. I'm confused, but okay. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, Fair to grab, yeah. yeah. Fair to grab, that was really nice. Yeah. I don't really sing, see too many Link players, so. Oh, no! Oh, no! The accidental shield. The accidental shield. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it to you sometimes. Yeah. Shield drastically decreases oh. your mobility, so if, oh, you, yeah. if you shield off stage, you're basically done. Yeah. Well, I mean... Skilled shield players are, are quick to uh, switch real quick out of shield and into to jump, uh, but uh, it's definitely a tricky thing to do. You got to do a lot of very quick button presses. Well, uh, thankfully in Smash Ultimate, I feel like Shulk's gonna get a lot more appeal now that I'm his, so excited. For yeah, that. his art changing is gonna be much easier now because 
now there's not going to be any more accidents like that when yeah. people accidentally anything, switch gonna, to the wrong it's arc. It's going to like turn into like sort of like the same way uh, they have uh, in a lot of uh, art, like action RPGs like um, uh, Assassin's Creed games and like Bioshock where you uh, hold a button and then it you, know, you use the stick to switch through a wheel. Um, Can't say I know about this because I'm a Nintendo that's okay. scrub. <laughs> I am too. Uh, I just watch a lot of videos. Oh wow, okay. Oh, wow. Dash Attack's going to kill off the top, damn. That was so surprising. Did, which Monado do you have? No, did he, he have a Monado? No, he didn't have a Monado art active. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, Dash Attack just straight up killed off the top. He's living. Oh dang. Yeah, he's living. First set of Ford Smash is just a little bit weaker. He's definitely going to want to consider going in shield now, but Ooh, the problem is still. he's going to have to find a good time in order to do it because he can't just do it out in the open, otherwise he's going to get hit for it. So he's going to have to find a safe time in order to do it. Uh, oh. Dash Attack's going to take it. Oh, man, Link's like, you got your backslash. I got my own backslash. <laughs> <laughs> that dash attack, though. All right. So that was Jack that was Link, right? Uh, correct. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually disappointed about that. If Ryan Z7 didn't SD at the beginning of the match, we could have seen something much more close. Yeah, I de yeah, definitely. But I don't know. Sometimes right. stuff like that just happens. Yeah. So we're either going to switch characters. Are we going to? Winner chooses their character first and then loser afterwards. Okay. Okay, they're going to stay. Right. They're going to stick. Okay, so winner bans one stage and then loser chooses from the remaining. Or if you want a gentleman's to, um, uh, Orville Gate Assault. <laughs> no, <kidding>. let's not <laughs> do that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Orville Gate Assault is like my least favorite stage in this game. Oh, I would, no. I my... would rather play 75M or Pac Lan. Because at least they're I consistent. I hate all of those. I hate all of them too, but I would rather play on those two stages than, than Orbital Gate Assault. Orbital Gate Assault is just way too confusing. There's way too. At least the other two stages have consistent platforms. Like. I can play on some casual stages. I can play on Halberd and Gamer, but I cannot play on like Great Cave or or Palutena's. Oh, my, or... my actual favorite stage in this game. Oh, Boomerang, please. Boomerang. Okay. I was going to say, <laughs> we're not having any stupid stuff like that going oh, on. Like man. Boomerang killing you off the side at 0%. <laughs> yeah. Heavy side smash there. Okay, um, but Shulk is definitely, heavy side smash. he's making it happen right now. So he's definitely, he took the... The accidental SD from the last game, and he's just like, yeah, he's, he's not letting he's, get to he's putting him. He's in not work right now. Him. Yeah, but no, uh, oh, oh, please, oh, oh no, oh, not again! Why does this keep happening? We got back to back SDs. Un oh, the backslash. All right, this is, this is looking rough. Ouch. Yeah, no one yeah. wants to see this. No, I was gonna say no. my my actual two favorite stages in this game are uh, Temple, but that's <laughs> that's my favorite of the classic no. stages. And my favorite of the uh, the new stages for Smash uh, 3DS Wii U is Gamer. It's, it's just such a clever idea for a stage. Gamer is a fun, casual stage. Oh yeah, no, and definitely casual, but it's a lot of fun. It's there are fun. definitely stages that are not fun at all, <laughs> even though they're casual. Just oh, yeah. like Great Cave, like why oh, would they yeah. even put that Everybody in the game? Everybody hates, like every, one guy picks like a couple different stages in the game. Everybody hates you and probably targets you. Yeah, <laughs> like nobody likes Pac-Land or Great Cave or Palutena's, like... It's the same oh, thing. I, I, uh, are they? No, oh, the up air, not the up B. Oh, he got the A, uh, the A instead of the B. We're going to a third match, though. This is a, I think this is the first one. I, yeah, I think this match. is actually the first time that there wow. hasn't been a 2-0 sweep. All right. Oh, man. But yeah, uh, the thing is, we have too many people to uh, do super, super serious competitive, because usually we have more than eight people. So we have, like, we have to, like, do really casual uh, at, like, clubs and stuff. Yeah, when you... So, what happens when you... I have a lot more experience with all the ridiculous stages. <laughs> <laughs> what a happens... lot of people like Palutena's Temple. A lot of people. If you make something more accessible, it drastically lowers the skill level, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So... I mean, I would love to have people like that are really focused on getting good at the game, and then there are people that are just like, let's turn Smash Balls on and pick Pac Lan. I'm like, no, please. <laughs> Usually, what we end up doing is we uh, have the only item we have on is Smash Ball, and we set it to turn, so we take uh, order. And here we have the worst legal stage in the game, by opinion <laughs> of very many people in the community. A lot of people hate this stage. I disagree. Well, that is there... bad. It's probably the worst out of the turning legal ones, though. Are you MVD? Are you MVD? Wait, what does that mean? Oh, MVD? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like MVD. I do his, not like MVD. <laughs> his favorite stage is uh, is Lilac. Oh, man. So it's he... not my favorite stage, uh, but I'm definitely more okay with it than most. Okay, we got the four glory link right there. We got spamming the F tilt button. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But um, yeah, the I bombs, remember... Ooh, the bombs to cover is recovery. 
It's funny because uh, I'm pretty sure Pikachu could do something like quick attack canceling on Lilat or something oh, like that. Ridiculous. And so, no, oh, not no. again. <clears throat> Gotta learn to do the up B. That sucks. Not on stage. <laughs> I mean, up B on stage isn't actually a it's bad not, move. It's a pretty good as far as attack. But yeah. Like, I'm saying as far as recovery. You can you can use it to like catch techs. You can maybe do it as mm. a tech chase or something. I mean, I'm a melee player, or at least I was until I moved here. Mm. So up B was an amazing move because it was a semi spike. Uh. So it sent mm. it sent the opponent down in a way. So Link's up B was actually a really good move. I feel like it's less useful in Smash 4, but it's definitely still a good grounded move because I think it's a kill move still. It's, it's pretty strong. Oh no, the forward air. Oof. Well, That's... unfortunately, unfortunately Jack is out and Ryan is moving on and loses. That good sucks. games, good games though, good games all yep. around. Okay, so we are on to Losers Top 8 now. We are done with uh, Losers Top 8 qualifiers. So we have Blank against Ghost now. Yeah, so this time uh, Blank is going to the Captain Falcon. So <laughs> I, I definitely appreciate uh, Blank has definitely been switching, uh, switching it up each match. He's not sticking the same character, uh, making things very interesting. Of course, Ghost is the Greninja uh, here, so he's, he's going with Greninja. How many matches have you played so far? Uh, I think I played two. Okay, yeah, I've played only one because I got a buy. Oh, wow, okay, that up was really risky, and I would have disagreed with it, but he actually hit it off, so... Yeah, uh, can't disagree with with when it hits. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, we don't just have any Captain Falcon. We got Captain Fabulous. No, we're not bringing this we, in. We're not, we're not starting how about, this. How about Captain Breast Cancer Awareness? No, that's, no, that's uh, Pink Donkey Kong. <laughs> Pink Donkey Kong is Breast Cancer Awareness, DK. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the Raptor Boost? Ooh. Back okay. dodge. Back dodge you get out of the Raptor Boost. Yeah, Raptor Smash. Boost, I, I'm really disappointed with the Raptor. Oh, wow, he just did the Greninja slide. I don't even know if dude, he knew about game that. Dashing. Yeah, he did, the FTW. he did dude, the Greninja dude, dash. Those, those of you guys, uh, those like few of you guys who, who know Marvel vs. Capcom, you got those uh, Doom Wave dashing right here <laughs> with the Greninja. The, the, the triangle dashing? We got the triangle dashing. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to... Oh, wow. Okay, the up air. Oh, wow. He's... With the drag down. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's he's not getting the last hits of all of his moves. He only yeah. got the first hit of up B, and he only got the first hit of up smash. But... He... Oh, yeah. The sl oh, grab that... slightly late, or slightly early. I can definitely agree with that. I've tried to grab a Sheik before and gotten punished for it, because I accidentally... Because what I do early. is I play Sheik and Zero Suit, and yeah. Zero Suit's dash crab is infamous for going really, really far. Yeah, so I try so to you like, always cut it a little short. I try to case. cut it short. Yeah. And then whenever I try to do a dash grab, like out of a shield or something, I always miss because they're not too far away, mm -hmm. but they're just to the point that you're going to miss the grab if you do a dash grab. So. Yeah. But yeah, Raptor Boost kind of annoys me in this game just because. Okay, wow, Falcon Punch. <laughs> but I. I'm gonna bring up the fact that I used to play melee like 20 times during this tournament, I swear. I mean, it's that gonna be so redundant. But yeah, Raptor Boost was so good as a combo move because it could combo into up air or knee or stuff like that. But now in this game, I it's mean, like, it's- It's like one of his many, many kill it's, moves. Yeah, it's kind <laughs> of a kill move in this game, which I don't really think he needed. No, especially he really since didn't it's need so it. unsafe. He's got like every one of his moves as a kill move. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, ridiculous. they could have kept it. Okay. Oh yeah, you can't edge cancel uh, side B in this game. You can only do that in melee. Falcon is uh, definitely a very momentum-based character, but uh, he's got a lot of kill potential in this game, that's for sure. <laughs> Trying Greninja, to go for the however, Greninja is very technical. Okay, he got the down uh, throw to up smash. But very slippery, so Greninja is very slippery. I'm not going to lie, I've been sleeping on the down throw to up smash. I always thought down throw to fair was a better option, but hey, you got that, in, so uh, I can't with, disagree with uh, it. With uh, Greninja? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, it really did kind of depends oh. on the player. Oh, the side Ooh, B, okay. Man, that's Shadow Sneak. Uh, yeah, it really depends kill. on the player. Uh, there are definitely certain uh, tricks that, like, like with pit down throw up smash. Sometimes I go down th down throw up air. A lot of people like yeah. down throw down air into neutral air. Uh, it really just depends on the player. Down throw um, up smash only works at like zero percent though. I know I used to do that back in the 3DS days when I played dark pit. Oh man, it worked. Well, I play as pit. It still works uh, up to from like zero to like 30. Uh, it's the at least the last hit will still hit, um, but. Once, if I've already gotten a hit, I usually go for up air. But okay. some people like their down air into neutral air. But it really just depends. Um, so for Greninja, like, the up air is like if you want to do a little bit more damage, I think, and like go off uh, near the top or potentially go for combos, up airs, the down third up air is the way to go. But if you wanted to try to go for a kill uh, on the side, uh, forward air. 
Okay. Plus forward air is relatively good for uh, air dodge speeds. Yes. Yeah. So there are a lot of moves. But now we got to switch to Ryu. So now we got. Uh, <laughs> we got the we got the like, shuriken stand off the, start. We got the other Falcon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, people but, did make Ryu mods for Falcon Brawl. Oh yeah. And now people are making Goku mods for Ryu in Smash Four, which is oh just like gosh. why. Like I feel like it's just the you realization that. Goku will never be in Smash, and he's just a meme, kind of like Waluigi. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope that they realize that uh, there's a lot of people cheering for Waluigi, and I hope they realize that and go ahead and put him in. No, you um, know what Sakurai said about Waluigi, right? Uh, what? He said that people only Ooh, like... Angle one. Nice. That was good. People say... Or people say... Sakurai said that people only like Waluigi, like, insincerely. The only... Oh, that's not the case. I love Waluigi. Waluigi's great. So, in other words, only the film Healthy memers like Waluigi is like oh, what he man. was trying to say. Unfortunate. But Waluigi's yeah. so I mean like there is definitely those people who are like that, but oh man, I love Waluigi. Waluigi's such a fun character. He's, I, he's just nutty. Like just the nutty stuff. Ooh, the Tatsu. That was good. My dream oh, sure, character. You're gonna catch the uh the lack of tech. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay, the DBZ. Yeah, holy crap. The well, DBZ, it didn't end up kill killing yeah, Ryu, even Ryu, though he's Ryu at got... 149 right now. Okay, he's got Ryu's max heavy. rage. Ryu's definitely heavy. If Ryu can get his opponent to like 60% or maybe even lower, he can kill with a true Shoryu at yeah. stupidly early percents. Ridiculous. It, it's this like all the Shadow Sneaks and Tatsus just going around. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's that gonna border, kill. though. Yeah. That's gonna kill. Even mm -hmm. if it did trade. Mm hmm. So only 20% extra credit, so definitely not undoable. Uh, no, you're not. You didn't really <laughs> just say that. You did not just say extra credit. Everybody hates that saying so much. I thought we retired that back in like 2016, 2017. Dude, I watch like videos from every uh... single time period. So I watch videos from every single year. I don't really uh, like uh, discriminate on the year of the video. I just like click on videos. I hate it when people say extra credit. Well, I am sorry for you. <laughs> Mm, attempted to get that shadow sneak. But you're perfectly allowed to say it, unlike that other thing you said in a certain set that might get us in trouble. Sorry about that. <laughs> I actually legitimately had no idea. But yeah. So anyway, back to the match because oh, this yeah. is what happens when I get on tangents. Oh man. Oh wow. Yeah. Because he's been doing that this whole time when uh, Ryu's trying to do that focus stack on the ledge. Uh, that up smash is a double hit move. So if two it's... hit. Yep. Yeah, so that two. way. It will go through. Sh oh, that was a very close attempt, but the the little bounce that you get when you do the Hadouken like made him a little, little higher up for that. I get so scared every single time I see a Greninja side B to the ledge because they're like that's not gonna grab the ledge, and then yeah. sometimes they accidentally SD, and that mm -hmm. sucks because we've had enough of SDs in this tournament, and I really don't want to see any more of them. Oh my gosh, Greninja just ducking <laughs> under the under the Hadouken. Greninja's crawling man. under. Man, goes laughing it off. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, okay. We got some. Okay, he was trying to get him with the focus. He could have followed up with the Shoryu possibly if he got the focus. Yeah. And right now, Blank is just trying to get in. He's trying not to get walled out by these shurikens. Okay, yeah. down throw up air. And Ryu, you know Ryu and Street Fighter. Oh, oh yeah, wow, that's that was gonna close. do it. And that was a close match though. That was very close. Good All games right. to both players. Yeah, definitely. All right. So we're gonna have Champion and Bloom. It's a good thing I didn't say Captain this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Versus but it's Ryan it says, Z7. Yeah, versus Ryan Z7. So we got Ike versus Shulk, which is very interesting. So back when uh, Cloud was announced and you got to see the trailers, he looked like a cross between Ike and Shulk from from the trailers. So this is gonna be a little bit interesting. And then everyone got hate for playing him. Yeah. In including me, and so I dropped him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but, uh, yeah it's, it's tough to make DLC characters for games like this because they don't get really as balanced quite as well against the rest of the cast. So sometimes Except stuff for Roy. slips through. Yeah, <laughs> Where Roy is a really bad low tier. Mm, I disagree because he can kill super, super fast. But... Well, so can Marth. Oh, wow, that back hit of the up smash. Okay. Man. What percent was he at? Was I wasn't paying attention. Not very high. Uh, it was also fully charged, so... Oh, this is this to run past each other. Run past each other. This, everyone knows the Smash 4 favorite is the run-up and shield. <laughs> which, yeah. hopefully that'll change in Ultimate, just because the new changes to the mechanics, including directional air dodging, which means wave landing. So that's yeah. hype. That's going to be very interesting. Unfortunately, no wave dashing in Ultimate, since they changed the mechanic that you can't cancel your jump with an air dodge. But, hey, I use wave landing more than wave dashing, actually, in Melee and also Rivals of Ether. So that's going to be really fun for me to use. Okay. 
And Ooh, that was a one minute game. Smashes. That and was a one minute afterward. game. Yeah, and the taunt afterward too. All right. And I'm also excited. I'm hoping, cause like in this game, shields are really, really good. Like Mart's move, Shield Breaker, does not break shields. It's sad. Yeah, shields it's are sad. good, but at the same time, you can get grabbed and Basically, every good character in the game has a kill confirm, except for, like, Cloud and Deo, which they just have other overwhelmingly strong tools in the neutral yeah. punish game. Yeah. All right, so we're getting so, Shul Shulka switching. We're seeing Dark Pit. All Dark right, Pit. and okay. let's see if, if uh, Bees, also known as Champion and Bloom, is going to switch, too. Looks like, looks like he might. Let's see. Just thinking about it. No, uh, no, he's, okay. no, he's sticking. We're going Ike? He's sticking Same costume, Ike. too. Okay, I like it. Yep. Okay, so winner's going to ban one stage, and then loser chooses from the remaining. Talking over it right now, figuring out what stage they want to go on. Yep. Doing Halberd? Halberd. Right. It's going to be a very interesting this, map. Yeah, this is going to be a blast from the past oh, here, yeah. because this stage has been banned for quite a long time, but just because... Uh, we're making this a little bit more accessible, so we're not trying to have, like... Too many crazy rules. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I definitely want to go for the full tournament rule set, but at the same time, I know that my ideology can drive people away because there are definitely more casual people than, yeah. than people really, really trying to get into the game. Yeah. And so, uh, letting, letting there being a little bit more leniency can definitely yeah. increase the amount of people that enter, yeah. which Plus, the more I felt people, the a lot, better. Yeah, I felt a lot better um, allowing... Uh, I wanted to have as many stages as possible uh, on the list. Well, um, you're not going to have any ooh, problems with that ultimate. was brutal. That was a, that was a uh, counter. Right there. Honestly, any stage is going to be legal in ultimate besides, like, Great Cave and Palutena's. Yeah. But, like, every single stage that was questionable before, like Albert, will now be perfectly legal because it will only be this transformation of the stage and not where they go onto the ship and get blasted. Yeah, because you're going to be able to turn off uh, stage hazards, which is going to be very interesting. I'm actually really excited for the... Um, the the setting they're having in the map er, in the new game with uh, being able to do tra stage transitions mid match. What? Oh, yeah, that okay. was unfortunate. See, this is why that is we... the unfortunate folly of Ike on the stage. This is why this stage is bad. <laughs> I thought it was because of the claw and the laser. No, okay. <laughs> do you Actually, understand my point now? Yeah. The thing is, I wanted to go ahead and uh, allow as many stages as possible, but I was also a little fair and didn't go with like, oh, we're gonna allow. Uh, What's what's the what's the Hong Kong stage with background? Ooh, okay. the sword on him with oh the taunt. All right. Okay, so that's gonna be one one. Ooh. Oh wait, is that is it that one was, one? Or? I think that was one one. Or that was no, that was uh that was uh two zero. That was two zero. Okay. Well, Champion M Bloom is gonna take it two zero. All right. So, yeah, good games. Yeah. All right, we are getting underway. We got uh, Block Koopa versus Rye Red. Uh, right now, for me, it's Block or uh, Brawler Classic Seven on the mic, uh, along with uh, Matt Gar. Everyone, and we shall see what happens. We got Marth versus Zero Suit Samus. This is going to be a very interesting match here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, with the miss with the um, the tether grab there, tether grab it can be can be very risky depending on how it goes. Uh, it's it's very good because you get a got a, got a lot of range on it, but at the same time, if you miss, they're usually the longest uh, recovery. So. Gonna throw him off stage. Ooh, use the down B to go and get on stage real quick. Looked like uh, Block had an idea of, of uh, the higher uh, recovery off the ledge, but just missed it. Ooh, the Paralyzer into the grab. Oh, but DI out of that up smash range. Ooh, the neutral air. Ooh, covering that ledge. Okay. Ooh, that was very close to being a tipper. That one was actually sort of too. Uh... That one was a tipper, though. Uh, so these players... Ooh, that was like the edge of that ability to tether that. Uh, these players are, are trading a lot of blows, knocking each other off stage. Oh, that tipper forward air, though. Zuzu Samus got a lot of horizontal recovery, so she's going to make it back. That down B is really good for that. Oof. Fishing for that. All right, we're going to punish that up smash. Ooh, oh, that man. was that was a very very nicely spaced uh, tipper back air there. That's gonna seal it. We're gonna see what happens here at this point. Ooh, staying out of range of that down smash. Zeus Samus is trying here to uh, 
get into his player, his enemy's head here and trying to get, get in on this Marth. Marth likes having his opponent at a very specific range. He wants those tippers. Oh, that was, that was some DI out of that. Ooh. All right. Ooh, I, 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 I felt like that was supposed to be a back air, so I think he just missed it uh, from Mark there. Pretty good there, side B. Okay. And it's match. Oh, oh, unfortunate. I think he wanted that down B instead of that up B. Uh, unfortunate. So, Marth takes it 2-0, and we're going to go into the next match. Uh, the, the next next round is what I mean. <laughs> no, it was game one, yeah. Um, Marth is staying. Black Koopa, Black Koopa is staying as Marth, and we're going to see if we are going to stick with Zeus' Samus or maybe see a switch. Ooh, a Toon Link. Interesting. Low speed players. Yeah, so... Apparently, maybe uh, Ryan thinks more projectiles is is better in this matchup. Match Marth, unfortunately known for not having any projectiles, being the generic sword character that he is, but uh, uh, his sword still does have a lot of range, and sometimes uh, having a little bit of a range fight is sometimes in Marth's favor with the tippers, uh, but we'll see how projectile out works out. He's also a little bit floatier, unfortunately, uh, than Zeus or Samus, but uh, he's also a smaller target, so we'll see how that works out. Ooh, trying for that side smash there. That trade with the, with the uh, was it the two link neutral air I think. Ooh, that second hit of that side smash. Throwing a few projectiles, trying to get Marth out. I'm surprised that he didn't get hit into that bomb. Actually, I was expecting Marth to get hit right into that bomb. Ooh, that up tilt up air. Trying to space out with some aerial moves, forward air and back air. Marth trying to get in. Got that bomb. Ooh, ooh, that was a good follow up with with his uh, opponent's bomb there. One of the things that's very interesting about characters like uh, Lynx and uh, Bowser Jr. and uh, Rob, a lot of these characters that have their projectiles, is to see how their opponent is able to utilize their opponent's projectiles. Like that's that's always something interesting to watch uh, with these item characters. Um, ooh, getting that bomb landing on the ledge and exploding mark right there. Ooh, if that was slightly slightly farther away, that would have been a tipper side smash. If that was a tipper forward error. We're gonna see what happens. Oh. oh, Marth was going for the... Well, I think Marth thought that he was going to recover, and he was trying to go into to uh, do a little bit more edge guarding and accidentally stage spiked. Put him, set himself up for the stage spike. So we're back to 0-0 zero, zero with uh, one stock remaining. Uh, and we're going to see what happens here. Ooh, that was a powerful... That was very perfect percent for that uh, up tilt, or the up air uh, tipper. Marth trying to use his quick moves to uh, feed his way into... Ooh, eating that up smash trade, though. Oh, caught the bomb. Just kind of tosses it away, though. That's okay. They don't need that bomb. It's going to explode in the face. Ooh, that boomerang's up air. Oh, up, up, or up, yeah, up smash, and then up air. I can speak. Don't worry about it. Ooh, Ooh that was a heavy hit right there. Ooh, managing to, managing to go in pretty deep and get that recovery. So, Marth using that very incredible walk speed to, to close in without having to commit too much. Mm, going for that up air. All right, so, we're seeing... Is anyone gonna go for the balloon, or we're we just gonna stand on? Oh, oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, 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 there, oh wow! I was gonna say that was a Roy side smash there for a second. That was the base of the sword right there, and it almost killed. But not quite. Martha's got a lot of rage right now. Four more percent, and he's got max rage. Oh, that oh, tipper four. Ooh, that tipper four is gonna seal it though. And Block Koopa goes up 2-0. Very close matches there. Oh, that. Gosh, that tipper though, man. Oh my gosh, my heart. Rate. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna set up the next match. We got winner semis. We got Brawler versus Makar. I'm I'm disappointed. I played really bad. I probably should have gone. I was gone. super nervous, dude. I think I should have gone two link off the start, to be honest. Yeah. My I don't think I was feeling as ZSS. The matchup wasn't in my favor.
Yeah, I mean, you did well with uh, Zeus and Samus the uh, previous match that you played her. And I also SD'd. <laughs> I'm kind of known for that. To, uh, yeah, dude, through especially the, uh... in that second match when I let myself get it started. Like, or I'm, uh, that wasn't stage really lights. an SD, though. It wasn't really an SD, but I failed at ledge guarding and got stage spikes. Yeah. I thought that. that I think I could have actually. I thought that that was all the momentum shift. And I think I the lose. bomb exploded, and I think I could have recovered, but I popped off, and so I probably didn't yeah. recover. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. So, maybe you would have not maybe, even Maybe, but up. yeah, I might not have even done it, so it doesn't really matter that much. Oh. I was doing some good combos, though. I got, like, bombed before Ooh, the there and stuff like the that. Turnip. Okay. Okay. Not uh, like it was a stitch face or anything. It was just a standard. Up air, one of, uh, one of Palutena's strongest moves, actually. So yeah. that's definitely that going to be good. up air and back air. And up air, back you can air. use Yeah, you can use down Honestly, throw to set up her, into it. her up tilt is extremely good. Up till, uh, I feel like it's good for damage, not really as a kill move. It's a pretty good kill move. I don't know, maybe I just yeah. don't have Palutena experience because I don't. Like, nobody I mean, plays Palutena. You, know, you, you don't try it that for your kill move. You know, you want to get other moves. Speaking like of, up throw. aforementioned up air. Oh, okay, up smash is going to take it. You want to go smash? for the like, stuff like the aforementioned up air in order to kill, but up tilt is not a bad kill move for Palutena. All right. So, okay, down throw Nair, yep. Oh, okay. I feel like down throw dodge. fair is actually true, but okay. Oh, he was trying to get the drag down up air. He was going to try to set up into something else, maybe up tilt or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so... Palutena is a pretty slept on character. Like, not too many people play as Palutena. Um, I there think are like it, I think two... A, yeah, I think there are two Palutena I think mains. one of the biggest reasons why Palutena doesn't play very much... Is because half because of the, the moves are the useless. Point, well, the point of Palutena was that... She was supposed to oh, be a customs character, yeah. She's supposed and to be unique there. with the customs. Yeah. Um, and her default customs, you know, aren't exactly the best. And she also has just a ton of useless moves. Yeah. Like her forward tilt, it comes out at like what, frame twenty or something know, like that. Sure. It's like it's really bad. I don't know what frame either, I was just kinda guessing. Yeah. But it seems but, uh, really, really slow. Yeah, so she has some interesting tech, like her dash attack actually shields her wind boxes with her uh, with her smash side attacks, smash yeah. And her down so smash. even yeah, you can slightly outspace on purpose and if someone's in free fall, you can just kinda send them to the blast yeah. zone, yeah. I know I used to do that with Toon Link when I was on for glory in the early days. With I used to play air. against Max and I did Toon Link's down air on yeah. stage and I was like, bye Max. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Palutena does have some pretty interesting tech. She's the only character in the game with both a reflector and a counter. Her lower counter isn't really that much to write home about. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I think it's the worst counter in the game, actually. I would, I would not doubt that. Okay. Alright, that was a good first game. Game one, going to Brawler. Alright, Brawler says he's gonna switch. Oh wait, whoa. Did it already... Did it say one the whole time? Did I mess up? It might have said one the whole time, but oh, since he's oops. up... Since he's up 1-0 right I, I now, I guess I wasn't it, paying enough attention. I don't know. It doesn't really matter now since he actually is up 1-0. Yeah, he is actually, so it's So this, okay. yeah, last match we made our first editing mistake, and now I guess yeah. we're just kind of carrying it on. Yeah, it's all right. It I happens. don't want this to be a repeat of Scrub Squid Squad Smash, but... Oh, uh, was there a lot of that in that one? Yeah, I, I messed up the match types. Like, I put winner's quarters when it was winner's semis or something like that, and I was like, why did I do that? Yeah. Oh, going to and Lilac. And now we are going to the worst legal we stage in the entire game. We are actually going to Lilac. We're not even memeing, we're like I'm actually... I'm fond of banning Lilat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that in Ultimate, Lilat is actually going to be a good stage. <laughs> is it, what are they going to change? Or are the you tilt? just talking about because of the... They're going to get rid of the tilt if you turn off stage hazards. Okay, I was going to say, are you talking about stage hazards? Yeah. yeah. If they're turning off tilt and stage hazards, then I'm okay with it. Yeah. Even then, though, like the shape of it um, still leads to a lot of pineapple. Well, I mean, it's not as bad as I would say Battlefield and Melee. I don't know if you know how that is, but Battlefield and Melee is atrocious when it comes to the ledge. I don't remember specifically, but uh, like you know how the ledge is I know on the stage. Occasionally in Pokemon Stadium. Uh, occasionally in Pokemon Stadium. I I don't remember that. I just remember Melee, or I mean Battlefield and Melee. Well, you know how uh, in on Lilac the. Sizes of the ledges are two fifths the size of the sizes on Battlefield as the oh, ledges really? on Battlefield. Yeah, it's kind of like the same in Battlefield and Melee because it kind of had the exact same shape for the yeah, ledges, yeah. which is uh, it's questionable. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I have to say this is definitely one of my less, one of if not my least favorite. Uh, okay, F Smash is gonna kill. All right. Good one. I saw him earlier going for a lot of. Up Okay, down throw to up smash. I think he was like, man, that 
Peach kill me with her up in this map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. I don't feel like Link's up B is too good for killing compared to Peach. Is no, there really yeah. any other character that has a good up B kill? I don't um, really feel like it. Corrin's pretty good at killing. Uh, kinda. I mean, I used to play Corrin before I came here because obviously we don't have Corrin on here because of the whole the yeah. dilemma of... We have Corrin on, a, on the other system, On the friendly we setup, which we were gonna try to record on. That was really sick, that... That was that bomb, bomb to dash yeah. attack, That's yeah. Reminds me of the... Okay, yeah. Only the, the lingering hitbox of the down Yeah. Here. Oh my god. Only the early hit tough. of Link's down air spikes, yeah. but you can still definitely use it for- Lilac! Oh my god, Lilac! Lilac. Oh my god. Lilac. I Every... thought we were gonna get an example of Any the, uh... other character in the game would have died there, but Peach has a glide. That was- oh my gosh. <laughs> That was insane. <laughs> that was intense. Good games. Alright, that happened. Well, that was good games was by both players. I was not ready for that. We are indeed ready right. for the next match. We got, got Rye Bread versus Champion and Bloom. We got Sheik versus Ike. We, got Reaper uh, versus we are going on the classic, the classic brawl, Smashville. And we're going to get going. We'll have the heavy hitter who can kill early versus the uh, the quick ninja. Let's we'll see how this goes. Pretty late, but you know, but likes combos. <clears throat> oh, accidentally did the down be in the wrong direction. Down, wrong way. Okay. Yeah, you see, like, there was a lot of up-tilting happening just now, but, like, a couple hits and, and Ike's back into the, uh... Well, yeah, it was tied for a sense. second until I started talking. Yeah, yeah, the sensor. Yeah, it, oh. already two hits and it's back, so... This is gonna oh be gosh, this is gonna be a very close. interesting match. It's gonna be... Okay. Oh, oh wow, oh, that was gosh. that was risky, because oh. if it was an air dodge... If he air dodged, uh, he would have eaten that sweet spot up smash, but it, Ooh, he okay, countered okay. in a little... Little counter animation in air, in, in mid air, yeah. uh, pops you up in the air just a little bit. So you can use that to avoid the hit. Okay. okay. Ooh, that was that was a good counter on the side smash there. Oh. Oh, going for that. Oh my god. Did it doing it again? Is, really is that the hit, is that the hidden discount. tech against Sheik? Oh man, going for the uh, attempted uh, air dodge into the stage. Oh, he was. Oh my. Oh, he gosh. ate that. Wow, that was some. He was going. That was some that shenanigans. That was some shenanigans happening right Cloud there. Was, or, um, not, not, not. was gonna pineapple and seven. Yeah, it looks like it, but thankfully he got he's got some some drift he can do with that. Super he can do some amount of drift. The explosion. Sheik's up oh, going a little early, not going quite for the ledge and hitting hitting a cheek instead. Ooh. Potentially Ooh. Holding, holding the shield. Ike is tall. That that is a sweet I spot on his face. I would have to drop the shield because the attack hadn't hit yet, and I was like, oh, I'm safe. I blocked for a little bit. I'm safe. But that dash deck. Oh, that wow. Man, so yeah, both of them are surprised. This, this is too. back into a zero zero one stock situation. Of course, um, although she, Sheik Sheik's going to combo right there for thirty four percent. Sheik has no rage, and when the enemy is at zero percent, <gasps> definitely has some longer strings. Trying to go for those forward Ike air strings, at, but uh, not quite. Already, Ike is at eighty one percent. Popping that balloon too. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's like he's glad glad he noticed, okay, notices the the, uh, the, uh, the the balloon pop there. Yes, that's a very important part of the stage. Balloon. Very important. Always got to keep track of the balloon. Just like back when duck hunt was a thing, you always got to keep track of the ducks. Yes. Got to keep keep okay, score. The keep keep, keep the score. Okay. Upward hitbox of the forward smash, the side smash. Ooh. Okay, that's. I think he's definitely still in this. He's you know behind on percent, but. Yeah, she's just gonna go and wait out. He wasn't no, quite close Ike enough. Is super powerful. Just one, one side. Ooh, one wow, smash that was move close. Like that. I was gonna say. That was almost like a that. really awkward, awful trade for Sheep. Oh, trying to get that that uh, suction oh, of that grenade there. Okay. Very unique. Um, Not a lot of Sheik players use that side B very no. much. No. It's really risky. You know, some Sheiks it... try to do it for some ledge guardings shenanigans, but it's really risky off stage because it puts you into, into free fall. Ooh, that was very, very good DI there. Ike is almost at max range. That was very good DI on Sheik's part, but uh, is definitely at lower percent. Ike's got the stage control Ike at this point. Has some state, Ike has some stage control. And Ike can definitely kill Sheik at this point. Oh, good. Make sure to get the balloon. That, that's first and foremost. Oh, Although bouncing that bouncing fish, fish though, okay. with oh, oh. no. Going ahead and making that win. But if, if, if he swings, he could up B out. Yeah, even if you swing with Ike, you can still use up B. You, but, can, uh, you can use up B out of side B from Ike if you. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you oh, I still that. have the text of hand warmers up. Whoops, my bad. Oh. <laughs> gonna take that off real quick. Don't worry about it. And we're gonna see if it's gonna be the same characters or if we're gonna we're gonna switch. Looks like <clears throat> Rye Bread is gonna stay chic. Yeah. The Reaper. Champion and Bloom is trying to see if he wants to switch. 
Oh, he's, oh, he's going Mac. to Little Mac. All right. Little Mac is definitely a uh, volatile character. For sure. All right. So it. Okay. Ooh, yeah. He's going ahead and going ban FD. He's banning FD that way. Little Mac. Has Little Mac to likes play his FD. With at least one platform. Which of course, you know, Little Mac definitely prefers to not have any platforms to worry about. Oh, oh, he went ahead and went okay. Delfino. We're getting Ooh. some Delfino Plaza action. Okay, this is this is a very interesting. I don't um, know how this is gonna fare for Little Mac uh, because certain trick stage transformations are gonna be very good for Little Mac, but Little other Mac ones are not. Other other stage transformations. And, and, when, and in, during the transition, um, if he falls and has to. Up Ooh, that was a good good combo if, break. If he there. has to upbeat through the um, through the stage because it's a oh, semi solid. Heavy. The, the main slow platform is sent. Oh, that was that brutal. Deep bouncing fish. That was brutal. For an early <coughs> kill. Oh, that was a perfect that shield. Was a perfect if that wasn't shield. a perfect shield, that was that would have done some serious shield. That would have done serious damage. Well, I was just saying damage in general. Yeah. And damage in general if he didn't block it. But shield damage if not. Mm, okay. Trying to get that counter uh, with the the, the okay, combo break with the counter. Can, okay, little Max back on stage though. Back he on stage. still has his double jump. Whenever he still has his double jump, he's definitely liable to keep winning. Ooh, oh. that was a brutal chic corner carry there. And we are All going... Right. Oh, I forgot to change the, the scores. Uh, but it is it is now... 2-0. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Good match by both. Yeah. All right. Omega 75M. <laughs> Omega 75, sure, yeah. why not, I guess. Why the heck not? As long as it's not normal 75M. Yeah, please, no. <laughs> That stage sucks. And the thing is, I use tap to jump, so whenever I'm on a stage with ladders, I try to jump, and it makes me go onto the ladder. I use I both tap it. jump and button jump, so... I, I don't know, I have some... It's probably because I, I play use... Puff in Melee and Sheik in Melee, so obviously yeah. I use tap jump for Puff, and then I use button jump for Sheik. Okay. And you can't change your controls in Melee either. Yeah, so I yeah. just kind of got used to having it on, because like... If you can use both, then there are benefits that come with it because you can do instant up, uh, instant up smash out of shield. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry for just bullying Champion around last set. <laughs> that was that was that was disgusting. I, I didn't want to say it while he could hear me because the players are pretty close to us; they can hear us. But um, I didn't want to say it while he was playing. But I did not agree with his little max switch. I, I'm sorry I did that. I just I needed to take that W, and so yeah, I, I did no, that. Yeah, no, I understand. We take those as we as, we take those. As a wise man once said, we take those. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, so back to the match. We got the match. We got uh, Greninja. Yep. Greninja as always. I don't think we've actually had Ghost uh, change his character up. Nope, so. he, um, he plays Greninja mostly, but he has a pocket Duck Hunt as well. Duck Hunt, And I okay. think he occasionally plays Meta Knight, but not very often. He mostly plays Greninja. But Meta Knight is everything. He's all you ever wanted. Meta Knight is all you ever needed. <laughs> Dude, Meta Knight has some interesting tech in this game. Like, obviously, he's not nearly as good as in, yeah. as in Brawl. But he's still got ladders. But he's he's kind of like Zero Suit. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's, he's got some interesting tech. Like, his, his side smash is deceptively powerful. You wouldn't yeah. think it's as strong as it is. I think he's, uh, yeah, he's trying to go for the Shadow Sneak. That oh, was so predictable. Taunt, yeah. That was so predictable. Wait, did he taunt? He did taunt. Oh, okay. That makes it, that makes it slightly less unpredictable, but yeah. I, I don't know. Slightly less predictable. Or, did I say more? You said slightly less unpredictable. Oh, nice. I can speak. You know, <laughs> oh. talking is hard. Okay. Fair Bottom on. Before he was able to grab the ledge. Fair on the ledge. Uh, yeah, Falling fair. Yep. No, it was a, um, down smash. But yeah, so we got one stock down for Matt, so he's gotta he's gotta find some way to bring this back. Yeah, I mean Greninja's definitely a percent where a well placed side smash or up smash can kill. Yeah. But of course Greninja is so fast, you know. Greninja can get in, get hits, get out. We okay, we got Matt. Uh, he's he's pressing those okay, smash. Okay. He he likes to press the smash oh, attack he's button. Taunt. I don't know why, but whenever. Instead of saying the actual button, I just say the move name and then the button. So I'm just like, he likes to press the up smash button. The up smash button. <laughs> the yeah. up smash it's button. Designated to one button. Because <laughs> I'm trying to be like kind of funny and like talking about noob strats. Like yeah, yeah. they only use one button for one oh, move. So I like, think I saw Greninja try to go for a counter right there, but it didn't quite come out in time. Greninja. Upper dash arm. It's it's a semi decent counter. It's a re I I. 
I play as Greninja occasionally as well, and I really want to try to find out a better because you can after, you can spike with the counter. You can spike with it. What happens is at, you you uh, disappear and the substitute appears, and you actually can control Greninja yeah. can control where he comes out from. I've actually seen. Yeah, I've seen people do like upwards counter into up air. I've done that like, before. Yeah. I, I always try to do that. Oh, that was. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That that's smash gonna is gonna that. take it. We got a little bit of a comeback from Makar. Yeah, that was definitely a comeback. He lost the first stock, and the ninja didn't look like he was gonna die anytime soon, but he got that clutch side smash. Oh, wait, and this is loser semis, isn't that it? That one was a read. Um, yeah. Wow, okay, well, there we go. That is another screw up on my part. It's all right. It's it's not too big of a deal. And video. last match means that it was also screwed up because last match also said loser's quarters when it was loser's semis. This is actually Scrub Squid Squad Smash all over again, and it <laughs> makes me sad. Because I wasn't trying oh, to do yes, it, but it happened. by the way, for all the people who are watching it on my channel, um, the other person with me who's streaming it, he's uploading it on his channel. He's live streaming it on his channel as well as he's live streaming on his Twitch. Um, his username is not Rybread, it's Rybean, R-Y-B-A-N-1. You forgot the E. He said Ryban. <laughs> R-Y, I was trying so hard not to say R-Y-E-B-E-A-N that I didn't- That you e. forgot the E, I forgot yeah. The or I forgot the actual E. Uh, next time, let the let the channel owner say <laughs> R-Y-B-E-A-N-1. One. So if you want to check him out, he's got some other stuff as well. Um, I'm doing a Lunatic Plus run of Awakening right now. Uh, yeah. It's it's going pretty well. Nice. I'm trying to show the way that you should be playing it because, like, obviously, Awakening kind of I I kind of hate saying this word, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Plague the franchise of turning it into a waifu simulator instead yeah. of a strategy game. I don't like that. That's what. So it's now become. I'm playing it in, in the, the way that it should be played I don't on like Lunatic that that, Plus I and Classic. Mode. I don't like that. That's the way that the series has been viewed in the public eye. And it used to be a pretty like obscure series. Like not. I mean, not obscure per se, because like kind of on the likes of like Metroid and Pikmin, kind of. Well, yeah, I feel like not, Metroid it, it didn't have like a super big number of yeah. people play it. But what happens when you let more people into the game is the fan base gets even worse. Yeah. So you anyway, introduce... let's, let's go ahead and talk about Smash Bros. Actually. Yeah, I kind of want to stop talking about this because I always hate talking about Waifu Emblem versus Fire Emblem. Yeah, I don't like that. Either. But yeah, okay. I thought he was going to press F Smash again. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Up throw up air? Yep. Yeah, is he okay. going to... Oh, I think if he double jumped, he could have landed on top platform and maybe chained Ooh, another. Kind of like... again, yeah. Yeah, like Fox and Melee. Yeah, Fox yeah. and Melee is definitely famous for doing up air strings okay, and the, the, up throw up air. The short, um, not charged shuriken. As a puff main in Melee, I can definitely say that I've been cursed with Fox up throw up air many a time. Yeah. It's it kills me at like 50 55 percent depending yeah. on if you're on top platform. The struggles, it can... of, a, the struggles of a Jigglypuff main. Yep. And that carries over to this game too. Oh my gosh. Well, the I don't play Puff hit... in this game. Well, Puff is the worst character in this game. Why would I play the Puff? The second hit of um, Peach's dash attack broke the counter, which is another reason why Greninja's counter is unfortunately not very. I mean, like, it's consistent. It's not as bad as like Shulk's okay. counter, because Shulk's counter is just horrendous. Oh, I like Shulk's counter. But you can pop out. I always of it. specific. Why well, specifically use the version of his counter where he dashes past him and slashes? He yeah, do the wind that's up. the one that does more damage. That's the, and the, and that one it comes out faster. So yeah. People don't jump and get like knocked out of it. Which is weird. Like, why should? Why do people get? the ability to get popped out of your counter. Kind of like ZSS's up B. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that so much. That happened during our set, actually. It did, yeah. I was like, are you kidding? You just <laughs> popped out of it again. I mean, I'm I'm never going to get a kill with this move, <laughs> despite how good it's supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, all the nerfs and stuff. She like, got I know, nerfs. I know it got yeah. nerfed at least once. I think twice. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, I'm not sure. All right, speaking know, of oh, speaking yeah. of nerfs, Greninja's got nerfed like four times. Yeah, poor Greninja. He doesn't deserve all these nerfs. <laughs> He's gotten nerfed like four times. I also nerfed Martin Lucina's shield breaker to not be as good at shield breaking, which I'm really upset about. It's like, why, why nerf those two characters? But then they got buffed in other ways. So now, now Marth is definitely, I would say, a top tier, and Lucina's a high tier. Okay. Because I mean, you don't see too too many people play as either of them. Well, I mean, MK Lay. Yeah, that's true. And I don't know how much Mr. E plays anymore, but I mean, uh, he is a Mark player. I think 
I don't know. I don't really watch too many Smash 4 tournaments anymore, I but I think very much anymore. Yeah, I think Mr. E just kind of like plays on people's streams, or I don't know if he streams himself, just kind of for fun. Okay. Uh, is he gonna get the uppy? Yep. Okay. Yeah, oh. Greninja side B always scares me because if you don't actually know this, Greninja's uppy is the only uppy in the game that they actually program wrong. So if you if you uppy if you hold up and a little bit to the left or the right like diagonal, you'll end up uppying. But Greninja is the only character in the game that if you do a diagonal, he'll do side B, which is kind of weird. Yeah. So I I noticed always... that sometimes that happens to me where I'll get uh, a side B with no actual charge yeah, to it. Yeah. Like no you. Distance. I was when holding like, no, up. I wanted to up B. Yeah, I held up and I did like the tiniest bit right, and I was like, "Are you serious? I side B? Like, yeah. what is this?" But that's the right, only so, character um, in the game. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's gonna. gonna yeah. Say Peach is uh, definitely really looking for that kill. She was down like 42% for taking one of her ninja stocks. You know, that's obviously not insurmountable, or like that's not something that you can't come back from. Yeah. But you know, she definitely needed to get that kill. Um, otherwise, there was no way that she was gonna be able to. Uh, I say she because of the character. Yeah. But, Nah. Peach is definitely <laughs> using dash attack a lot, which dash attack is a kill move, which I don't really agree with using it too much in the yeah, neutral just because stale. it'll stale, yeah. yeah. So like And dash attacks of course can be pretty risky to use it um in general because if they get blocked then you can um Yeah, that's why you wanna just use them, grabs Oh stuff. down throw back air? Oh okay oh, down. Okay, you can try for it. Yeah, I, I think you should have gone down throw back air to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, uh I think he's looking for that roll in. Oh. They are just rolling and smash attacking. That was like five times in a row. It's just roll, the smash, roll, smash. On the top platform of Battlefield, just rolling back I was like, forth. what is this? One this isn't a tournament. This is friendly. Uh, oh, no, that's oh. not going to kill. I was going to say, like, he's got DI. He's going to oh, live now. Tried for a little bit for the Okay. Okay, I was thinking he was hoping for that up smash to launch. Oh, he wanted the mix oh, up. Especially since he did it facing left. Oh, yeah, facing so, the other direction. So that definitely is a good really mix up. Tricky, okay. Yeah. Matt was trying to go for the up smash. It was Green a good. making it known that he's a dark type. <laughs> using all these tricky, sneaky things. Although Shadow Sneak is a ghost type move. Yeah. Which I also kind of, you know, falls in the same sneaky, tricky category. Oh, down throw fair? Oh, oh okay. I thought he was going to go for the forward air. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it probably wouldn't have hit anyway, because I think Matt had some really good DI. Yeah, that was, that was good DI. Oh, oh wow, the up smash. Gosh, up smash. Chipper up smash. Oh, All right. Good games. That so that's, good. yeah, that's going to take it. That'll be 2-0 for Matt Gar. All righty. <clears throat> They've already um, done their hand warmers. They know which stage they're going to go to. We got Rye Bread with Zirzu Samus versus Matt Gar with Peach. He's, he's, he pulled out a uh, clutch victory. Oh, he still got the ghost tag, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. He still got the ghost tag, but this is Matt Gar. He got a, he got the clutch victory last match with Peach. So that, was gonna close, see. that was a close set. I was it there. I was I was doing some friendlies. Um, Ooh, barely air dodged that. Greninja landed on the um, rightmost platform of Battlefield, and she up smashed. Yeah. And Matt Gar up smashed through the. Uh, oh, save. nice, yeah. So one thing, by the way, guys. Uh, so this actually now is loser semis. The last match was still with loser yes, supporters. Yes, we. So. Um, just because so you guys because of the numbers of how many people showed up and, and everything, we're getting confused. It's a, it's a very weird number. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's. Not, not divisible by uh, four. Yeah, so it ended up looking or a little eight. Bit weird. So we thought it was semis so. and it wasn't. But it's okay because we are in semis now and we got everything oh, on so track. Not, oh, is that going to kill? Oh, it's not nope, quite not kill. quite. Got nerfed. Yeah. And oh. the DI probably had part of it to do with it too. Oh. Oh, oh no. no, the forward so air. Unfortunate. Mm, did not want that forward air, I assume. That was unfortunate. He definitely could have um, recovered. I don't know if. Um, Rye Bread was prepared to punish the uh, Legend Invincibility, um, or the lack thereof, but it yeah. uh, didn't, didn't end up mattering because the unfortunate okay. misinput into the SD. But of course, he's still not into it, or he's no, still not out of it. Um, Definitely not. So he's only taken 28% so far in the second stop. Hope it doesn't stop. rattle him too much. Um, 
And of course, it's still best two out of three. So yeah, even if this doesn't go well for him. Yeah. So we got two more. <clears throat> we got two more sets of best two out of three here. Uh, we're gonna after this one, we're gonna do uh, winners uh, semis, which actually is the two of us against each other. So we're gonna get two new commentators for that. No wait, we're the only two who are left. Um, Ooh, that uppy. We're the only two who are left. So wouldn't it be winners finals? I guess it's pretty sure it'd be winners would finals. Be. Yeah, no, technically so that one we're would. gonna change it to so yeah, best winners best finals. Five. So we're switching. Next match is gonna be winners finals. So it's, it's gonna, gonna be best. best. Yeah, best three out of five. And then losers uh, finals is gonna be best. Our banning five. system is gonna be a little different. Instead, uh, just uh, no winner of the coin flip chooses. We're not gonna do ban stage, ban stage banning. All right, Rye Bread is staying to, with his tried and true Zero Suit Samus. Matt won, Gar. won the previous match pretty decidedly. Um, unfortunately, one of them again was a uh, SD, but yeah, he got that really early upbeat kill. So he's staying uh, with Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, but, feeling uh, pretty Matt confident about to Shulk. Yeah, and I don't think we've, we're actually we going him? to a new stage. Have we seen him play Shulk yet? I think we did. Yeah, all I right, think we did earlier. I wasn't commentating during that one. I was, yeah, you must I think have been I was doing friendlies. friendlies at that yeah, point. that's a okay. We get to learn about Mega Man's origins for a second, and then we're going right in. We're going in. Running in with the dash attack with paralyzer. Oh, yeah. Paralyzer. Okay. The dash grab. Forward air. Tried and true. Ooh, the last the little tip of that Ooh, that okay. little up smash there. Oh, okay. okay out of gosh. there. He's not gonna not get by that for the second punish, time. Though. Not quite getting ready for the. Not punish, again. Though. Not like last time. Ooh. He's definitely doing those same Zero to Sam's combos. Down throw into um, up, up air, air strings, the classic tried and true Zero to Sam's. Okay, but that is That's okay. Oh, oh no! Nope, don't do not yeah. want to get on the stretcher. He knew he was ready. The stretcher is not where you want to be at this the, point. The um, up smash from. Oh, that was the very pretty... last bit of that range. Ooh, Ooh that he was tried, close. He tried to. I... He tried. Oh, okay. that, the count. Oh, that, that was didn't hit. weird. Dang. Yeah. Samus still hasn't taken any percent in this stock, and I thought that was going to be the first one. I thought for he's sure, yeah. To, okay, he's going to go and switch to Buster. Dash, or Buster. Buster. That, that's, I'm okay with that. That's a pretty pretty good de uh, decision at this point because I think so. he's already a pretty high percent, so he doesn't he need to, to worry that percent. much about taking percent so much at this point. No. Oh, uh, he, he oh, needs to he work lives. on getting that point. The DI yeah. is good. He, yeah. Like, I agree, it I agree definitely is not a good idea to put on Smash at this point. Um, um, Buster I agree with. I think maybe Shield would be good for now. Yeah, um, I, I would do, do either shield or um, maybe speed. maybe jump or speed. But uh, looks yeah, like he's gonna go field. shield. Okay. So Zeus Samus is gonna have to work just a little harder to kill at this point. He's gonna have to just time out that that shield run out of there while Shulk is trying to get as much as he can. Yeah. Ooh, they just backslash in the face. Shulk looks like he's struggling in this match to get some solid hits. He's throwing out a lot of attacks, but Zeus Samus is winding around. Now. Oh, by the way, I forgot to set up this uh, score oh, here. Oh, score. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Still, 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 or one more. still oh, oh, right now. It's still oh, oh. Get to one. Yeah, sorry. Boom. Speaking uh, is hard sometimes. Speaking oh. is hard. Tried to go for that air dodge. He didn't quite make it work. Mm, don't worry about the fact that we're communications majors. Speaking is hard. Speaking is hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm just joking. Right, um, Shulk is at max rage. Um, Zeus Samus, I think, a little bit more percent before she's at big risk of dying. We we'll only get the first hit of that up air, so not gonna do a whole lot. Of course, she's a big risk of dying. I'd say another twenty percent, and a side mm, smash. Last hit of that side smash. And a side good. smash, like oh, never mind. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, that was some killer di right there. Say, that was super, the super smash close. Move, oh, that's that up smash is gonna take it, but that was very that's not close. Not the best kill move, but at one hundred and ninety percent, that is gonna kill. Yeah. And, and that means that oh, the trip is gonna though, have to work trip. that much harder. Yep. Gonna work, have to work that much harder because the range means he's gonna have to get more percent before a side smash will kill. Yep. Or any smash move as well. Okay. Oh, okay. That was, that was very interesting. Countering the, that was the counter. countering the taser. There. Getting a lot of those. Dude, he's got that. He's got that Marvelous Cat on Infinite with the Black Widow paralyzer. Yeah. <laughs> the dash Watch grab. your step. Yeah, the dash grab from uh, Zeus and Samus reaches really far. It really is. Oh, counter attempt. Oh, okay. He's got it. Gotta get back on the stage. Um. Okay. okay. 
get him off the stage, try to yeah. regain that center, that center stage. Gain that, mm -hmm. Wow, jab almost killing it. I think if it, oh, go ahead and use the down beat to pop the down balloon there for a second. Balloon. I think that if uh, Shulk were in Smash, that dash, that triple jab probably oh. would be Oh, Wait, oh that, was that, was, that was super, super close. That last kick. Ooh, oh, that, okay. that is okay. gonna go ahead and take it, and he's switching the shield, the shield real quick. I agree. Yeah, and he's gonna go stalling ahead and sit up there to stall out the shield a little bit. Stalling out as much of the shield as he can. I find it a little bit of a scummy thing to do, but you know, it's it's something. It's, you can it's do. a thing. It, it's, it's fair. It's fair. It's Unfortunately, fair. yeah. It's completely. Oh. You know, Not up air. Oh, oh, the kill! Some I thought that was some, some unfortunate, unfortunate di. DI. Yeah. And that yeah, Rye Bread is gonna take it 2-0. And now we are going to go into the next match. Okay, and we are here with the winner's finals, and no, Block Koopa is not up a game. Let me change that. <laughs> no, we're good. I, it takes me like two seconds to change it. But yeah, so we are here with the Ryan Ryan commentary. So yeah, winner's finals, we got Block Koopa versus Brawler, the brothers. So, uh... Or if this was uh, Sweden, we could say do brothers because uh, Armada and Android, but no, this isn't Melee. This isn't Melee, so I'm gonna stop making jokes like that. <laughs> but yeah, so... Okay, that, that was unprofessional, I'm not gonna eat. <laughs> but yeah, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, so... We got... Okay, Brawler was trying to go in with the early edge guard. I don't actually think I've seen him play Sonic this, uh, this whole tournament yet. Oh, oh the spring! Okay. Yeah, the spring is actually much better if you try to hit the right of it, because if you hit the left of it, left of it, nice, I can speak, then they can be put in tech situation, they can easily tech it. But if they, if you hit them with the right of it, then they can just get... Oh, oh no! Not good. That sucks. No one wants to see that. I, I know I say it every single time someone SDs, but oh, the, the spring, okay. I don't know, maybe tech yeah, yeah. situation is better. I guess it depends on what percent they're at, because you want to put them in tech situation if they're on low percent, but if they're at high, you just want to hit them away from the stage so that they can't get back. But some characters like Villager can get back no matter what, so I guess, yeah, maybe tech situation is the best option. So yeah, back in neutral, I guess. We got Sonic who's down a stock because of that unfortunate SD. It sucks, but it happens sometimes. I did it. A lot of other people did it. That tip. And Sonic is out. He was at like 50 something. Okay, that tip. <laughs> that tip. Okay, so Block is now up a game. the heat of the battle. <laughs> Redemption or winner take all. This is winner's final, so that means there are no stage bans and it's also a best of five. Oh, um, no, there's no bans. It's a best of five. Oh, it is a best of five. No bans. I'm sorry, I'm unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. You could be like chewing like the most loudest snack ever. I remember watching watching a video of Hugs during MLG 2006. He was just chewing on a Slim Jim and like commenting on how good it was. He's just like, this Slim Jim is so good. That made me laugh so hard. It's definitely something Hugs would do. He's he's a funny guy. But yeah, so now we are on Omega Gamer. So this uh, this stage has walls on it. So that means. We are not going to be seeing really any stage spikes because they're just going to be launched towards. Oh, okay. We got the edge from Roy. Ow, the oh, edge. Boy. But it didn't kill because he was at low percent. But now, if we get an edge from Roy, it would probably kill. Same thing with a tip with Mark. I think the an edge with Roy is still less. Oh no! Oh, again, Brawler, what are you doing? He was trying to go for a roll read there with the NF smash. That sucks. I feel like I'm just gonna be- Okay, he wanted to go for the ledge trump there. I think- Yeah, he grabbed it a little too late. He could've definitely- Four tilt's not gonna kill. If it was an F smash, that definitely would've killed. Is he gonna get the two frame? No, okay. 
Actually, I don't know if he could have gotten the two frame. He might have had to stand back a little bit in order to get the two frame because you kind of have to be a little bit farther away. Otherwise, you're just, you're just going to get hit by the up B. Uh, up B on stage. I'm going to guess that that was a miss input. Actually, no, because no, uh, he's at high percent. I remember up B with Roy is a kill option, although a risky one. I'm just so used to playing Marth that, well, I, I guess, okay, good, oh, nice, boy. nice forward air. Up B on stage, the first hit of Up B in melee is definitely a good kill tool with Marth, so it's kind of like this in Smash 4 with Roy, but I feel like it's a little bit more risky just because uh, Marth's Up B can snap, not snap, but it can go to top platform on stages like Battlefield, whereas Roy's goes a little bit lower, so I don't even know if it can reach side platform. It might be able to if you angle it upward, because I know you can angle Roy's Up B to go a little bit farther. But yeah, so, okay, back air, that's not going to take it. Uh, okay, good. I was going to say, unless he has Ds, which I don't want to see that. I don't think anyone really does. Oh, okay, nope, counter's not going to do it. Okay, wow, he barely, okay. Uh, yeah, nah. upward angled uh, side B, that's going to take it. So block is up 2-0. Okay, well, let's see. This is winner's final, so I really didn't think there was going to be a 3-0 sweep, but I don't know. It could happen, I guess. It could. We could go into more more rounds, get Brock and, Brock and pick it up. Let's see. Like, my original main, my main in Brawl and my original main in Smash 4 until Cloud was released, and I wanted to main him, and then I got hate for playing Cloud, so I, I played other characters. And now I play, like, Sheik and Zero Suit. I don't know how I go from Ike to them, but I don't know. People change. Lilat. Oh, boy. <laughs> I I know that this is a best of five, so there are no stage bans, and Block has told me how much he hates Lilat, so I'm probably... I'm thinking that Brawler definitely chose Lilat because he knows that Block hates Lilat. Uh, and Block is also Ike, so this could actually really screw him over because Ike is a very susceptible character to stuff like this. Other characters that are susceptible are Villager, but then again, he has such a good recovery that he could probably recover anyway. Okay, good. No SDs. No SDs. We don't want to have that. Not three games in a row. That would be terrible. Eruption? Is he... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, I think... I think he was going for the bomb to explode where that's definitely a viable strategy because the bomb has a shorter fuse with Link than in Toon Link. So I can't really use that myself being a Toon Link player, but Link players can definitely use the bomb. I think he just might have mistimed it, pulled it out a little bit uh, at the right time, or right time, wrong time, so that way he didn't actually get the explosion to save his life. Because he was definitely trying to avoid the eruption, so I can agree with that. Because eruption is a big threat, especially on weird stages like Lilat. Is he going to go for the snipe? Okay. Good side B recovery, so that way he didn't actually get it. Uh, okay, I I was wondering what was going to happen with the bomb if it was going to explode on him and he was going to get screwed up from it, but it didn't actually really have that big of a difference. Okay, the down and smash. Nice. Launch. Uh, okay, well, let's see if Brawler can make this comeback. If not, it's going to be a 3-0 sweep. Up being high. Oh my. Okay. Okay, wow. Okay. I really didn't think that that bomb was gonna work in his favor, but he got a thir he got 39% off of it, so... I think he was trying to go for the DI trap there with the down throw up air and then follow up with another uh, move if they if they air dodged it. But the combat- the comeback, nice. The comeback potential is definitely here for Brawler, and as I say it, as I say it, commentator's curse at its absolute worst. That's gonna be it. All right, we are ready to go. Now on the commentary is Block Koopa, as well as the other Ryan, the one who's Ryan Z7. Because Rye Bread and Brawler Claw 67 are going against each other. Ooh, right, that going is, straight into the vibe. That air grapple comes out really fast. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, that was a risky play, because that, uh... Those Guardian Orbitars 
have a lot of end lag, so it's really risky. Ooh. That wasn't even a confirm. Two. Try to jump over him. Oh. Directional I'm... arrows. Directional arrows. Um, up B. Ooh. Laser, or, er, uh, paralyzer the wrong direction. Feeling each other out, doing a lot of moves. Pit shooting the arrows as he recovers. Oh my gosh, the stage tech! That was super clutch. Oh, the paralyzer does not matter. The super armor of the upper dash arm. That was each other. They are still really close in percent. No, Pit has the slight advantage. Claws. Ooh, that's the that, that takes away the percent advantage. I mean, you know, two percent. Okay. Oh boy. All oh, winning. Oh. Didn't even try for any grabs into up throws. Oh, that was. And good. another launch. All right. Things getting interesting. Now it's now it's really even. Zero zero. Neutral. Both characters on one either side of the stage. Okay. Down throw to up smash. Works at this percent. Miss with the upper dash arm. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that barely reached. Trying those up up air. Uh, strings. Oh, misses with the for the, the side tilt. Both Pit and Zeus and Samus have a very you know standard, you know not too strong. Um, oh, did not spike. He was hoping for that spike. Yeah, he makes it. Um, both of them have good projectiles that uh, you know aren't too strong. You know, Pitt's obviously known for the all oh, the spike. Uh, oh my gosh, oh, that, was that was good. Yeah, yeah. the spike on Pitt's the, the, the spike on Pitt's down air is pretty tough, but that was a good that was a good hit. So game one goes to Brawler Claw sixty seven. Let me go ahead and put the score. There's the score. Thinking he's gonna switch to Olimar. Rye Bread is trying to decide. It looks like he's gonna stay with Zero Suit Samus. And he decides he wants to just go back to Battlefield. Battlefield's a very good, solid stage. I understand it. I didn't want to shake the waters too much when I was choosing my stage, so I just picked Battlefield. Hey, the Pikmin latched on while she's getting combo, adding that extra percent. The down tilt from Olimar actually has a pretty good amount of range because he slides forward. Ooh, Ooh good adjustment because it was a blue Pikmin, so he had to do the double jump in order. Ooh, that was a good one. He had to do the double jump in order for the forward air to hit after. Barely out of reach. Yellow Pikmin does not care about your Paralyzer. Purple Pikmin does not care about your side smash. Blue Pikmin didn't really fix anything. That could have been a really early kill, which is just what Ride Red needed, because he is very down on percent. Obviously, it's never unwinnable. It's always possible to come back, but as it stands, Brawl Claw 67 is definitely in the lead. Almar sometimes has a tricky time getting it though, because the, depending on which Pikmin it is, you know, the smash moves are slower or faster, have less range, go higher. Um, so, all of our smash moves are not always the and most consistent, fight. but it still gets her. So now we're back to neutral. Okay, got those grabs. Yellow Pikmin is dead. Poor Yellow Pikmin. So Rest many in peace. Pikmin souls. So many Pikmin souls. Fire Pikmin, the red one, is still on her. Taking all that percent in neutral. That's the struggle from fighting Olimar. And the fact that not a lot of people play as Olimar means that not a lot of people know how to fight him. Olimar has some serious tech. He has definite potential. Um, I really wish that the Rock Pikmin were in his moveset somehow. Because all of the Pikmin except the Rock Pikmin are in his moveset. Even the Wing Pikmin. It's really unfortunate. I wish that he still had his uh, 
that he had all of his Pikmin. And I kind of liked the way that it was in Brawl, where he had six Pikmin and not just, oh, she was trying for that. Uh, I kind of liked how he had six Pikmin in Brawl. Uh, three Pikmin, I feel like, is a little bit few, but I understand it. Like, that would have just put much more, oh, the purple Pikmin. That is 2-0, but it is a first um, best 3 out of 5. He is going to stay Olimar. This is not wanting to... Hold on a sec. I'm wanting to change... The, the score isn't wanting to change. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I was. It didn't really do it very well. Okay, we're good. Yeah, stupid right. Mac computers and stupid touchpads. <laughs> Microsoft <laughs> Masters. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. It's, uh, Losers Finals. Third game of the set. He switches to Toon Link. Okay, I fought his Toon Link earlier. And he's pretty good with um, you know keeping people out. With the boomerang and the uh, arrows and the bombs. I play Toon Link a little bit myself. I like to think I'm pretty decent with him. I don't know that I'd feel comfortable enough playing as Toon Link in like a tournament, but uh... And contrary to popular belief, um, based on the fact that I've been playing only Mark this whole time, I mean I did switch to Ike last time, um, I do not always play as the same character over and over, I usually switch off each match, I pretty rarely play as the same character two matches in a row, and I know Block Koopa is the er, Block Koopa. Uh, I know that um, Brawler Plus 67 is the same way. Um, but for the tournament, I think Marth is my most solid one for tournaments, so I just wanted to stay there, and I didn't want to throw myself off too much. Ooh, that was a good attempt for the up smash by Toon Link, but Marth, oh, oh my gosh, he wanted to roll. Ooh. I said Marth, I meant all Marth. We were talking about Marth. I still had Marth on the mind. Okay, the bomb. Good block. Good morph. Oh my gosh. That was a good first kill. Now Olimar is behind. Oh, that yellow Pikmin got wrecked. The blue Pikmin survived and then got bombed. But it's okay because you can always just pluck more. Those two Pikmin got wrecked. We have a purple one still, but it's okay because you can just grow more. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's got two purples and a red. I know that um, Brawl Claws, Claws um, refers to a set of two purples and a blue. He calls that the kill squad because two purples means that all of your smash attacks, like down smash having two oh, mixed with the bomb too. He was at high percent before he died, though, but he didn't end up getting too much percent on... Oh, try to confirm that. Get a little extension. Um, but uh, even with the down smash, you can get two purples, so no matter which side they're on, you can hit with two purples. And then the blue Pikmin is the best for throws. So Olimar can actually kill with throws if he uses blue Pikmin. And then, of course, the purple Pikmin is known for being the kill one. Um, so that's why he calls it the Kill Squad. Man, these, pe these Pikmin are nuisances. Latching them on. Olimar is definitely able to keep up with the ranged game that Toon Link uses. Toon Link likes to keep at that distance. Olimar is okay with doing it because he can just throw the Pikmin and the Pikmin will do all the dirty work. That being said, Olimar does have some pretty interesting moves on his own without Pikmin. Um, like his, his, uh, side tilt is actually pretty good. And his down air, or I mean his, not his down air, his down and tilt, um, can definitely throw people off. Uh, obviously, Olimar definitely does the best with the Pikmin. Um, it's actually really good whenever Olimar, you know, he dies, he loses all of his Pikmin, but he uses all the, he still has plenty of invincibility, and with how fast he can pull off Pikmin, uh, he can pluck Pikmin during the invincibility and still set him up afterward while he's still invincible. Um, 
This is a close one. Uh, Toon Link is at high percent. He could definitely die, especially to Purple Pikmin right now. But he's at almost max rage. Oh, the down smash. Good game. That is the set. That means Rye Bread is now in. Stop that. Rye Bread is now officially in third place for the tournament. And Grand Finals is now going to happen. I bought Koopa and then winners. And Brawl Claw 67 is going to be in losers. And that's going to determine first and second. We'll see you then. Grand Finals. Let's go. Yep. I'm so mad that I, I lost that loses finals. I, I think I played pretty badly, I, but... I, oh, you didn't play as badly as me when I fought you. <laughs> <laughs> that little mech was a terrible choice. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry for doing that to you. I, I beat got, you in I 50 seconds. Yell, I got people on my, on my Discord server yelling at me that <laughs> Sonic that little mech was a terrible choice. I killed you in 50 seconds. I just did a fair, fair it's, down it's B fine. and I killed it's you fine. at like 40. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not, I, I'm not mad, I'm just shocked. But hey, uh, third place is the lowest place to actually receive a prize, so at least I'm getting my money back, so. Yep. But yeah, let's go back into the match, because this isn't about me, yeah, even fun. though I've been commentating like 80% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, Grand Finals versus Block Cooper and Brawler Claws. Honestly, I kind of saw this coming. Yep. Like, I, I thought I was going to lose and lose his finals. From the very beginning of the match, I can imagine this match, this specific match going, going right here, right now. Well, I couldn't... No, I, I have to disagree early, with that. I I don't think they would have gone Sky World Omega. Okay, yeah, that I, that's the one part I didn't see coming. I saw the, I saw the Barth, I saw the Olimar. I didn't see the Olimar, actually, to be honest. I, I, to be honest, it was a coin flip between uh, Olimar This is hand, and not hand warmers. I did the same thing. Uh, but it's all good. We're only a minute into the match. This is not hand warmers. It looks like Olimar has got the famous kill set of Pikmin, and there goes the blue one. Come on. Well, oh, jab to F tilt. I think he was trying to go for jab to F smash. That definitely would have killed him. Yep. Jab to F smash. Okay, tip fair. But it was on the complete other side of the stage, so that was not going to kill. Yeah, the super armor with the down B. He is just... Oh my okay. god, yeah. Shield breaker doesn't really kill. I'm surprised he didn't go for up throw, because up throw would have 100% killed at this point. Yep. Up throw, it's it's kind of like his last disc, uh, last ditch effort kind of kill, kill move. Because if everything else failed, if he's missing all these F tilts and F smashes, and he gets a grab, then just, there you go, up throw. It'll yep. kill at like 140 oh, if he has rage. Okay, tipper fair, nice. Tipper fair. So, what's your prediction? Do you think that Brawler's gonna reset the bracket? Uh, I, uh, I don't, I, I kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling ch ch uh, the Black Cooper will win this one based on past experience and what have with these two fighters. Uh, my opinion is I think it's gonna be close as long yeah, it's as it's, it's definitely gonna be close. Don't get me wrong. And yeah, and there's always a chance that, that Brawler could pull through. If Brawler doesn't SD, then we can definitely see a set that should have been winners finals in my opinion. Yep. Because we can, he could maybe reset the bracket or maybe Block could win in a close game five set. We don't know game five set, nice. game five situation. Yep. I don't know. Speaking is hard. Oh, oh wow, I blinked. Through. I don't even know. I blinked. I don't know what just happened. Air dodge. He read the air dodge. Well, I was gonna say that, but they said it for me, so there you go. Nice. <laughs> nah, it's all good. So block goes, or no, not block. Uh, Brawler goes up 1-0. Yep. Okay, so Brawler's gonna be staying as Olimar, and we're gonna see what block is gonna do. Gren, okay, taking a page out of uh, Ghost Book. Yep. Except not the exact same skin, but yeah, it, it, it's close. It's still purple. Yeah, I, I purple for high point. I personally point. prefer the black skin because it's because it's so close to being an into shiny, but that's why. I feel like that's the most used skin of Gren. I'm a not I'm, just because it looks cool, but because it's a nod to yeah. the four series. So. I'm also very guilty of using the the female skin with the black armor for Corin. I know that skin is like the oh, most overused, the here. but. Yeah, I, I, I don't even care that it's female. I just like the colors. Any any skin that's like black and yellow, I I, I, I already have a preference for because I don't really think it's, it's yellow. So... I think it's just like black and like gray. I think is it yellow? I'm not sure. There's some there's some there's some gold highlights. Okay. 
I don't know. It's been months it's since I've played Corrin. Obviously, we don't have Corrin on this setup. We only do on the friendly setup because, yep. unfortunately, we could not get the friendly setup to be the tournament setup because, uh, by the way, take a shot every time I say setup. But um, <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, that too. But then you'll be out we, in five minutes. yeah, pretty much. But we tried to get the friendly setup to be recorded on, but since it's a combination of multiple TVs, we had to switch to a different setup so that way we can uh, be able to record and have a clear picture at the same time because we won't, we don't want to have our competitors playing on a messed up TV. That's not fair for anyone. Even if it doesn't really have a disadvantage for either person, no one wants to be able to play Although like the that. Is that certain DLC characters are not available on the system, like Unfortunately. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> It's Cloud and Bayonetta, for crying out loud. I'm not even good at Cl I'm Cloud, and I only wait just because he's just a good character. Honestly. I'm, I'm sad about Corrin, though. I really yeah. wanted Corrin. <laughs> but yeah, so... Back to the match. Yeah. <laughs> we're just that, we're getting on too many tangents. Yeah. I feel like that's just what I do on commentary. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we got down throw fair combo, standard stuff for Olimar. We're gonna be seeing down throw up air in later percents, and then maybe a uh, blue Pikmin up throw because that's a kill throw, but only with blue Pikmin because it's stronger on grabs because you gotta micromanage your play style while you're playing with Olimar. You gotta do certain aerials to move your Pikmin to the front. It's confusing and I would never do it. I I have not been a fan of, of Olimar ever since Brawl, mostly because of the, te of the old Tether recovery had. I was not a fan of Tether recoveries at all. I mean, until the, until some of the until some of the tether recovery uh, became available to me they're grabbing instead of just up B. Yeah. Zero suit Samus is. Yeah, she, zero suit. Now she has an actual up B, and now I really like now I like playing with her. Yeah. I don't play with her too often, but when I do, it's it's fun. You're, you're talking to a zero suit main here. Yeah. <laughs> and now and now that they're bringing Ivy Soul back for Smash Ultimate, I wonder what they're gonna do to his up B. Yeah, they're are probably they gonna, gonna change it. Are they gonna change it? Get a piece of this up and oh, there it goes okay, home. yeah, that'll be it. That side B, that Shadow Snake's, uh, Snake, nice. I can speak. Not even, not even, not even the infinite, infinite nerf was enough to keep the ninja off of Olimar. Shadow Snake. Sounds like a Metal Gear character. Shadow Snake! Sounds like a Metal Gear fan character. Okay, so let's see if we're gonna get character switches here or not. Oh, when you okay, so Gren's boy. gonna stay, and we're gonna get our boy in. We got the boy. <laughs> yes, please don't kill yourself, as Roy. Yeah. And game three. All right. Oh, let's go. So tied up. One makes me wonder if we're gonna get a game five situation. Yeah. I kind of want to get to get to game five. I want the stakes to be once once for that five match. Yeah. I either want it to be game five, or I want Brawler to reset so that we can see more of the play styles and how it ends up, how it ends up just going where it's going. Yep. One thing that I find is really rare is that you don't really see much of people resetting the bracket and then losing. You really either only see the winner's person winning, or the loser's person resetting the bracket and then winning after that. You don't really see people resetting the bracket and then losing afterwards. Yep. I guess it's just kind of like momentum based, yeah. maybe. Okay, down smash. That's not gonna kill though because oh, he went for the water. But good on, good on Brawler for recovering low. Because he definitely would have died if he recovered high. But then again, why would you recover high as Roy? Yep. It's like recovering high as Mac. I used to, I played Roy and, Ma and more for a little while, but I'm, 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 I feel like I'm better at Roy, but I'm still not good at Roy. So I'm excited for, for Brock to come up for Smash Ultimate because he seems to be a blend of Roy and Ike. But yeah. I, as, you, and as you saw, I, I particularly enjoy Ike. I used to play Ike a lot, so. But in my opinion, I think his new up air, people are saying it's a buff, but I'm pretty sure the knockback got lowered on it. Whereas Ike's up air was really good for killing in Smash 4. So if they increase the range, but also decrease the knockback, I don't really feel like that's a buff in my eyes, but I don't know. Because like, sure, it gets more range, so it can hit people uh, through a wired area. Hit but... more people with the <laughs> But it's not a copter anymore, it's just a swing now. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So they increased the range, but I think they decreased the knockback. But oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is dead. 
Yeah. So this, this is why I'm switching to Chrome. Makes me sad. I remember I, I did a uh, down tilt into up air with Ike and killed my friend at 40% because I had max Jeez. rage. I was at 150% rage, so I got this. Town and city. Oh, I thought I was like the top of Great Cave Offensive. No. No, it was town and city, so it's just because of the amount of rage I had. Oh. Down air kills off the top. That's a new one, yep. if I say so myself. I've done it a few times with other characters. Yeah. It's very rare. It's I've seen Marth get Sour Spot and killed down air off the top, which really makes me mad because I know that shouldn't happen. Yep. <laughs> down air killing off the top. Oh, but yeah. And then I remember playing uh, against one of my friends, Lidl, actually. He won Scrub Squid Squid Smash. And. Nice. And he killed me at like 40 when I was Sheik. He was Ganon. He killed me with down B at like 40 off the top. I was so mad. <laughs> but yeah, so we're. This is Ganon. Yeah, I guess. But I don't think he had any rage either. But anyway, I don't want to talk about what's hap what has yeah, happened let's talk to me. About what's wanna... happened instead of what happened. <laughs> Oh, Bad habit counter of commentating. Oh, counter. counter into counter. That is the true meta. Everybody's yep. countering now. Yep. How do you how do you counter a counter? You counter. Uh, you, okay. Can you counter the cap? Can you counter the counter attack though? <laughs> this commentary is the most stupid I've ever done. Okay, got the tip okay, with Roy. Let's, which let's, let's get the essentials out of the way. Melee, melee, counter, counter, melee, counter, melee, counter. Okay, are you done? Yeah, Good. I'm done. No. <laughs> Maybe that too. Okay, so that, oh, okay. Well, if that shuriken definite, if that oh, shuriken no. hit, we would have definitely been put into edge guard situation. Back throw. What's he gonna get off of this? Okay, back air sending him to the other side of the stage, but he's gonna get back on stage. Perfect, no problem. Is that gonna kill? No. He had 150% rage. So oh, top 10 reverse edge guards. Yeet smash. Watch Mojo get on this. No, no, no. Stop. No, stop. You ruined it. Uh, it is 2-1. So yeah. 2-1 for block. Let's see if block's gonna switch. Ryu. I know he has played other fighting games in the past, so this should definitely not be a problem for him at all. I used to play. I used to play Ryu a lot, but then I started playing a bunch of other characters as well, and he felt and I fell a lot way out of practice with it. He used to be my best one v one character, but yeah, now, now, I'm, now I'm playing a bunch of other characters now. Hey, little Mac. I might actually pick up Mac and Ultimate. He yeah, seems definitely. fun. Now that, his, now that his recovery is yeah, his wild. recovery is a it's a good recovery instead of yep. whatever trash he had before. Yep. So okay, we got double switch. We got a kind of high tier against a possible low tier in Falco. But if you know how to play Falco, then there's really... It kind of seems like the tiers go away if you know how to play Falco really well, because Falco can kill you off the side at really early percents, and yep, we got Lila. Yep. I'm not surprised. Oh, Block hates this stage, so I know I knew that Brawler was going to go here. Honestly... Well, yeah, no, that makes sense. It makes sense that he would go here now so he could possibly get a game and set up for a game five situation. I was going to say he could save it, but if Block wins this, then he wins the tournament. So yep. good on him for going to Lilac. However, thanks to Dave's stupid rule, he cannot go back to the stage if he wins. And uh, the next set counts as a completely different set, so that means they can go back to stages that they've won on. Actually, I don't know if we've been paying attention to Dave's stupid rule, but um, if we didn't, then we're just going to have to remember it for next time because we're not going to be doing anything about it <laughs> now because, I don't know. Well, we'll have to make sure we pay attention to it last time. I don't know what that shorty was. I'm guessing yeah. he was trying to go for the true Tatsu input because hashtag fighting games. Oh, yeah. That's that's the meme whenever can, someone I messes can, up a Ryu I input. Never, I can never match the Tatsu with the true shorty. Uh, sometimes I would get it, sometimes I would touch my face, sometimes I would get it. I, would, yep. I could get the other two just fine. If I wanted a, if I wanted a, 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 a Hadouken, I could do it. If I, want, if I wanted the... Oh, okay. Oh. The, the F smash. I can't remember the name of that. I, I kind of nice. want to say it, but at the same time, I don't want to botch it. Yeah, so. let's, no, let's just not do that. <laughs> But yeah, okay, wow, he was getting some str- Oh, okay. If he got that, if he got that Shaka Densu, then he oh. definitely- Okay, 
Good catch on the Tatsu with the up smash. Yep. Oh. Let's see how this oh. goes. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, I was going to say, Lilat, 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 don't do this. Lilat, don't do this to us. None of us want to see any stupid Lilat stuff. We already saw one this tournament. Luckily, Peach recovered from it, though. Okay. Okay, never mind. I was going to see if he would maybe go for a down air. But down air won't spike at zero. He would have to go for it twice, which is kind of risky, and it's contemplated if it's even worth going for. So, yeah, maybe he could have just gone for other... Okay, down tilt. One of his best combo starters. Okay. The ledge of Lilat is two... Okay. Nice. Is he gonna... Oh, I thought he was gonna roll in. Oh, okay. That's gonna be it. Block That's Koopa it. takes That's it. it. And if I can type three correctly. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, GG's to both Block and Brawler.